You ready for this deer? We are live. We're live playing some canarium. Let's let the uh, commercial run. Commercial run. <laughs> Let's let all this stuff. There's hey, Sheldo, Sheldo, how you doing, buddy? Oh, we got to kill you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Bally, you might want to mute yeah, your yeah. stuff over there, dear. <laughs> hey, if I look like I'm half asleep, it's because I am. <laughs> um, Somebody just woke we up. We just, I came home from work exhausted. I laid down for, I was going to lay down 15 minutes, take a nap, and then come down here and get everything set up. Uh, I woke up about 10 minutes ago. Ran down here. Nothing was set up. Nothing was ready. So this is like the fastest I've ever gotten ready for a stream. Good job. Uh, hopefully the game and everything's set up right. <laughs> I don't know. So my face is probably a little puffy. Not that you guys care what the hell I look like. And Shello, so how's Shello today, man? You doing okay? I still don't even have all my softwares open. There we go. <laughs> what? It's, I don't get a, a man. Oh, oh, seems good. Okay. It's cool. the guy going, doing a thumbs up, dear. That's the thumbs up guy. Yeah. Means looks good. Looks good. Doing good. Oh. Uh. Iron Aura. Hi. Iron Aura. How the oh, heck yeah. are you? Wait, this isn't Minecraft. Well, hopefully it doesn't say Minecraft this down is below. This is some more of my weight. This isn't Minecraft. <laughs> that's, that's what I was just saying. No. They should say Canarium. Oh, it's HP Lovecraft. HP Lovecraft. Lovecraft. It's a pirate, huh? It's a pirate game. No. No. It's <laughs> Horror Night. Every Friday night, 7.30, we do a horror stream. But there will be puzzles. Yep, there will be puzzles. We tried to uh, do, play game through to completion. In fact, Sheldon and I stayed up all night here about a month ago. It was like a 10-hour stream. Oh, Lord. I went uh, to bed early. I played the cat lady. She passed out about one, but yeah, we finished the game. This, uh, I did a little bit of research today. She, she, We bought the game this morning. I was at work. She found the game, sent me, and says, hey, this looks interesting. It was Lovecraft-based, and I was like, oh, yeah, we can do it. Definitely do it. So it's a HP Lovecraft-based game. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with the gentleman, but uh, out the, At the Mountain of Madness, is that it? Yeah, out At the Mountain of Madness, I believe, is the book it's based on. I love that book. In fact, I just listened to it again today. Dormant Tulips here. Hey, how you doing, Dormant? So we got Matt. And Mrs. Mel. Mrs. Mel. Hi, how are you? So we're just talking about HP Lovecraft and how this was based on At the Mountain of Madness. I'm still waking up. <laughs> Somebody uh, took a nap. Yeah, yeah. It was about 19 minutes after when I'm hauling butt down the stairs. <laughs> we laid down and passed out cold, so that's why I'm not looking at the camera yet. I'll, I'll get around to it. So how's everybody else? I think it's probably about time to get started on this shindig. Oh, wait. I know what else we need to talk about. Mrs. Mel, guess what? We had two more casualties on the hardcore server today. <laughs> two more dead. Yeah. Two more down. They're dropping like flies. Yeah. <laughs> I think that only leaves myself and uh, Youper. You, Youper. King Poopy Pants. Mrs. But he's Mel. not getting on the server. Well, he'll get back on. Uh, it's been several days. Anyway. He's doing good. He says I'm doing good. good. And he's doing good. And Iron Ore is doing good. Hey, Iron, if you ever get bored and you want to try a hardcore uh, dead is dead Minecraft server, let us know. We've got one set up. Yeah. It's it's pretty fun. Yeah. Matter of fact, the rate it's going, we may be resetting it. For uh, we're going to be resetting it. Oh, by the way, <laughs> Sheldo, uh, we need to talk. I think we need to set up some parameters uh, where I like wipe the player files and see if they're able to come back on. So either after the stream is going to be fairly short. I think I was looking at it. It's like four, maybe five hours at the most to play through the whole game, depending on how long it takes me to get through the puzzles because I don't know much about the game. 
I'm thinking we might delete the player file and you guys are able to re-log and maybe just do a week timeout. So that way, if you've got a person that's going to live for the next year, we're not sitting around waiting. Desi shared a video with me a couple of days ago about a dude that had a hardcore dead is dead max difficulty server. He lasted five years. Yeah. That, and and then was too long. mining straight down and accidentally died after five years. Well, Iron, even if you're not streaming, you're still welcome to come play on the servers. You know? Yeah, you don't got to stream. Yeah. yeah, Mrs. Mel, she plays uh, on the servers. Um, Sheldo doesn't stream a lot from the servers. Mm -mm. We try to get them to Matt more, but... was... Matt. Yeah, not streaming from the servers. No. Uh, there's only about four of us that actually stream from the servers, so no worries there, brother. I'm not even sure if uh, Minecraft Hi, is still Rock your Guru. thing. Morning. This is Rock Guru. God, you're up late. But you know what? Let's get started. I think this is, uh, we're past due now. We've gone over all the news at 732. Let's go. This is the HP Lovecraft inspired Canarium. Let's let the game kick over. We're there. Mm -hmm. I'm, in the meantime, I'm going to sit here. I'm going to sip on some Crown and Coat. And finish waking up. <laughs> All right, let's go. Press any key. I don't have any, any keys. Someone hit the space bar. Uh, there, I guess. Apply changes. Let's go. Video settings. Uh, da, 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 da. This is the first time I ever looked at this thing. I, you know what? I think, I think it's good. Let's just go. Uh, as long as it doesn't say Old English, I'm good with it. Let's go. Load game. Old yeah, that's what I thought. Hi, future cop. Welcome. What I do need to do is turn down the sound a little bit. Hey, future cop, yeah. welcome. Dormit, you're right. That was it was all over the news. He made a really simple mistake that killed him after five years of Minecraft. Yeah. Hardcore. It was heartbreaking, but he started right over again. Uh, still not, still pretty dang loud. What? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> maybe, maybe that'll change. Maybe once the game starts, it'll change. If not, we can come back. All right, let's go. This is Canarium. I'm so excited. But that sounds awesome. Oh, All yeah, life awesome. is only a set of pictures <laughs> in the brain, among which there is no difference betwixt those born of real things and those born of inward dreamings. Well, I'm sorry uh, I missed whatever he just said. Yeah, you're missing it, dear. <laughs> that's probably the, the, the solution to the puzzle. Well, that's cute. I don't know what just happened, but it did happen. Oh my god! What are you doing? I'm... <laughs> there! 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 Thank you for sharing, Iron. We appreciate that. <laughs> blah blah quote quote blah blah. There you go, Future Cop said. Awesome. I don't know what the heck was going on, but it, it happened. Oh, you can't. Get some self tappers and duct tape. <laughs> there! How's that? Oh my god, if this will work, Jill. Jesus. Said. Technical <laughs> issues, man. Alright, so what do we got? Are we underwater? Well, this is the way you start an HP Lovecraft down here with the squid people. <laughs> Some thread tape might work, yeah. Absolutely. Wow, look at the visuals. This is just a, a little indie game, by the way, peeps. Now, the people that made this also made the Dark Within, if you guys remember Darkness Within. Lizard people. D yeah. One and two. So I can imagine that we're going to see a lot of that in this game. I, I am liking uh, the visuals. Well, that just happened. Oh. Honey, are you catching this? Uh-huh. Okay, you know you don't have to type the whole all night. You can, like, talk. I'm watching. 
Everything's perfectly fine. I believe no more can we harbor ourselves safest shores for there are things that cannot be undone. Okay. So just kind of some backdrop if you guys have never read um, At the Mountains of Madness. This game picks up where that book left off. Dr. Faust, is that you? Okay. His face wasn't weird at all. Nope. Okay, are we in game now? Wow, it's a heck of a clock on the back of my hand. Okay, uh, also, I did a little bit of reading. You know, I had to do a little bit of back... I think I have him. Oh, my head. Ah, the pain. It is bearable. I think I have a headache. Uh, you think? Yeah. Oh, I lost. The pain is subsiding. I thought my head was about to explode. This game Hi, has... Hey, Syndicate. This game has two endings. Uh, press escape to view game controls. Having dinner, watch a movie with a wife and sister-in-law. Awesome. Okay. Cool. Well, yeah, go watch a movie, man. Chill. We can uh, control for crouch, uh, run. Hmm. Okay. Let's try this. Come on. Hello, Soli. Okay, yeah, we got this. We got this. So, anyway, this game has two endings on it. Let's check out and see what this is right quick. There is going to be a lot of reading involved, so just so you know. Hey, Solis. Its noises are resonating in uh, my mind. It's going to be a... Depending on how fast we get through the puzzles, Future Cop. It's supposed to Probably be about four to four five, to five hours. Game, uh, so. so, as long as... Let's take that. Cool, 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 cool. Let's take... Uh, we need the torch. Uh, pre I found a torch. That's cool. I think his goal is to try to finish it in one sitting, but no promises. So use G. Okay. So this is the meeting room, it just said. Oh, we're already using it. Okay. All right. So this is the meeting room. But if there's two endings to this, a good ending and a bad ending, I don't know what separates the two. So we're going to try Are to collect all the stuff. Are puzzles or suck at puzzles? I'm thinking it depends <laughs> on how much of the stuff you find. Uh, like in all, like Call of Cthulhu and all those. Uh, I don't know what that word is, but it's Expedition Handbook. What word? Uh, the word that was at the, on the screen. Ooh, we can take the pen. Oh, wait. Okay, so this is in English, and this... Okay, this makes it easy over here. Uh, June 18th, 1949. At least we have an era. Observation notes on the fourth initiation session. All the participants consumed... Uh, whatever. Mixture five minutes ago, and they've entered some kind of altered state of consciousness. All of them are now vaguely mumbling in their sleep. Like they are chanting something. But the sounds are not conscious. They seem restless. I detect movements at the limb in their limbs, and as always, I wonder if it's because of something they are actually seeing beyond. 7.15. I'm sure that these notes are important, peeps. I'm going to try to get them as quick as I can. As always, the device is humming and glowing, but this time the atmosphere is different to the previous sessions. Whatever the reason for this might be, it feels almost like fantastic, that fantastic device is signaling something in a code I don't recognize. It is becoming more and more stressful to be alone here in the midst of this cold, dim, and incense-filled room. 719. It sounds to me like the intensity of the subject's mumblings is much stronger now. Colors and shades are dancing on the walls with the rhythmic ins and outs of the device. I can hear the wind howling outside. Maybe a snowstorm is approaching or something even worse. 724. Exactly five minutes and three seconds have passed now. They have drifted beyond my area of expertise and guidance. I cannot do anything further except wish them safe return. All right, so that's, I guess, what went on in this room. And we were comfortably sitting in this... What is that? 
I don't recognize that or its language. I, gu I guess we don't get to keep that. So let's get to this room as quick as possible. Let's just make sure we don't leave this device. Its noises are resonating Ooh, that sounds in my yummy, mind. dormant. Time for dinner, Jack and Dr. Pepper and probably chicken fettuccine. Awesome. Oh. Um, okay, let's just try to remember some of this stuff. Everybody got it? Everybody got this memorized? All right, let's go. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> uh, are we on a ship or something? Are we in one of those modular buildings? Kind of looks like a ship. Meeting room. You know, porthole window, Hello? starfish on Anybody it. Anybody here? Where is everybody? I don't know. Why don't you tell me? Weather notice. A strong snowstorm is expected to hit for the next two weeks. Thank you so much. All right. That's good. That's good. We had some photos. Uh, there we are, Expedition Wheeler. You okay? Don't know what that is. It's a Lovecraftian looking thing. Man, our torch is bright. I think here in America we call those flashlights. Oh, look, it's Mothra, dear. Is that Mothra? Mothra. Looks yeah. like a Mothra. Moth on a lamp. Ooh, old meme. Familiar visits uh, visits the lower chambers once more in the form of a black cat. Its spectral image echoes throughout the seven rooms. What sin called it out from its hollow, looming dim and ghost-like? Well, that sounds very H.P. Lovecraft to me. I don't know which way to go. Can we open the door straight across? <laughs> oh, oh the radio room. Looks like we're having a power problem right now. My torch is bright. Ooh, first aid kit. Okay, that was a complete waste of time. Well, you know, sometimes it can be he said instead of she said, Iron. It's okay. He said, she said. Yeah. It doesn't really that's, matter. That's what he said. It's not important. <laughs> we have a fuse box, and for the first time in video game history, it looks like we don't have to go gather fuses. I mean, how often do we not have to go find fuses? Anybody that played Soma or Penumbra with us knows that you know you have to go find fuses for stuff to work. Auxiliary power needs to be enabled manually from outside. Well, screw that. It's cold and... Doof. Very nice. What? Well, it's true. It is cold outside. I'm going to go ahead and go back down here. Okay, so we've got like kind of a big square to anything in the boxes. So who's never like read or seen anything on HP Lovecraft before? I'm just kind of curious. Living quarters. Locked. I think all these doors are going to stay locked until we get some power. It's all right, it's locked. It's locked. Jesus. Penis. Guys are whining already. Let's go outside. All right, if my buddy Racing Freak can be here and he can't be here, uh, well, he would say go left. Busy. Yeah, he would say go left. So that's what we're gonna that's do. Right. I'm not sure how far left. Do we follow the flags? We're just gonna run for it. I don't know. My mind is cloudy. All I can remember is the successful establishment of the Upperwater Antarctic Base. And after that, nothing is clear in my mind. Okay, thank you for sharing. All right. Woohoo, let's get in out of the cold. Shut that door. Shut that dang door. Oh, I feel so much better. Don't go left, go right, Iron says. Too late. Oh. You gotta be kidding me. Really? Okay, we got fuses turned on. Uh, we gotta find some gasoline or something. 
we got to do something to oh look we got some tape we got some spanner wrenches we got a fire extinguisher i'm clicking on everything good job okay oh. lights boxes but yeah this is consarium um i'm putting the info it's in it's the a chat. fairly cheap game They actually have an amazing sale right now on Steam on the entire uh, an entire bundle package. Is it? Yeah. With a bunch of their games, but it's just a small little independent. Uh, but they put out a lot game. of games. Yeah, there's only three guys. They're from Istanbul, Turkey. So is is that it? I think that's it. I think that's what we're trying to turn on right now. All right, so we got to figure out how to get to it. Well, I think we figured out our first puzzle. So let's get it knocked Man, out. And you were worried. <laughs> oh my god, the wind is like killing the controls. Can we even go up to, right out of the back? I'm gonna see if there's another way down. All right, come on. As usual, in typical indie game fashion, uh, it likes to click off the screen all by itself. I think this is a party Always. deck. They have a party deck. Here, here's another way down. I think that's just going to take us right down to where we were. Oh, Jill says oh, there's he a likes, block. He likes zeotropes. Saw some freaky x file -ish show space on those things. <laughs> oh, I miss X-Files. I do, too. That was a good rage. show. It was. Awesome. Wow. This is running speed, peeps. It's easy to get lost in this weather. Uh, I'd better stay close to the expedition base. But yeah, when he describes the weather and the base in the book, this is really close. Really close. You know when they when I was talking about this game takes four to five hours to complete? Uh, let's go with five. Just saying. I'm already having issues. Oh, you having issues walking through the snow? The abundance of the five-pointed shapes. You know, sure, cut me off, game. <laughs> game said, nope, not yet. <laughs> okay, oh, this is in here. So oh. that's two days in sky time, right? Yes. <laughs> no, we're gonna. I'm going to finish this game tonight. Oh, Lord. I may or may not make it. I got me a 45 minute nap. I'm going to keep splashing books, but won't let you read them. I know, right? There's got to be something that you're not pushing. I'm thinking pushing. I need to be in that other building. Because you saw the generator, right? Yeah. We flipped up the little levers, uh, but we're going to have to start that generator somehow. So let me go back down. This weather's getting worse. Let's follow the little path. Oops, sorry, trip. Let's try this again. This door's been knocked off, right? We had a banger way out of here. That's what she said. That door's locked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> locked. Oh. Uh, okay, so we found the gasoline. See that? Nothing. So we found the gasoline. Uh, we've turned on the breakers. Mm -hmm. Oh, what is it? Oh. Never mind. I'm being a dork. I don't know what I just did, but cool. Oh, we had there was a busted hose. 
And I, remember I took the tape in from the uh, where the ranches were? Yeah. We just put the tape on there, and then we just took the gas can, the jerry can, and we just poured it in there. Just put it back in what there. What does that do? Well, this is the little generator, auxiliary generator. Uh, let's go reflip flip the breakers now. See the green light? Mm -hmm. There we go. Yay. We have electricity. Now we can draw the bad guys in really fast. Yeah. Awesome. So who's got the big brains, peeps? It looks like I got an achievement called Sparky. Sparky? <laughs> Sparky. I've played so many of these games over the years, especially in the last, like, year, six months. I love it when they throw something at us that we don't get. Well, I recommended the room. You curled your nose up at that one. Oh, uh, room. Well, Wolfheart just got done playing all those on his streams. Every one of them. I'm trying to remember if he did the third one. Uh, I think he did all of them. Okay, so we have an auto save function. All right, so let's go for the amusement. Stop those bloody sessions. Uh, this is a note. Oh, we have a journal, too. Uh, June 8, observation notes, uh, fourth initiation session. All the participants consumed uh, whatever mixture five minutes ago, and they, oh, we've already read this. Okay, what about our journal? I found that the uh, Antarctic Expedition Base has been enveloped in darkness, and some of the appliances are not functioning due to the power outage. I bet you that's going to make the refrigerator smell great. Well, actually, the whole building is just one big refrigerator, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I can feel the alcohol sort of surging through me. But why is there no one attended to the problem so far? Where is everybody? I don't know, man. You tell me. Health notice. Uh, health notice. Attention for all crew members who are having problems sleeping. And reading little print. <laughs> Examinations uh, conducted regarding the increase of accidents. Uh, recently happened. Let me believe that the reasons uh, for those act insomnia, strong headaches, seeing visions, and hearing voices. Okay, make sure you report. Weather notice. A strong snowstorm is expected. Okay, so. Yeah, Dormant has a good point. Why is it always the Antarctic? <laughs> right. I know he's talking about the thing, probably, right? Well, there's a lot of. Oh, there's trophy items. Based in a Left control. Uh, you've not found any trophy items yet. Well, don't I feel dejected? Feel isolated and dejected, peeps. Uh, so. uh, future cops. Oh, love that film. So what is this? It's a glove? Yeah. It, it looks like a glove. Looks like a glove. Looks like the strange little... device was already on my left arm when I came around inside the meeting room. It seems there's no surprise that I don't remember anything about it. Oh, by the way, if Maybe I didn't tell machine? you... I have insomnia. Not insomnia. Yeah, I have ins No. Do you? I don't know. I have amnesia. Yeah. Speaking of, I want to replay Amnesia Dark Descent again. Oh. I love that game. That game was so awesome. Okay, so. Dharma said it's okay. I found no trophies either. <laughs> I better find a crew member. I woke up from a series of blurry nightmares isolated inside these somewhat foreign walls. In one of my pockets, I found an empty notebook in which I'm writing my notes. I can't remember anything other than uh, there should have been others here with me. The names Dr. Faust and Dr. DeWitt are lingering in my mind now. Additionally, trying to delve deeper into thoughts gives me sharp pains in my already throbbing head. I'd better find a crew member and find out what's going on here as soon as possible. So, yeah, we have a thing. Uh, so, we have j a little Jarden Carpenter going on and uh, some serious HP. Hi, Martinez. Uh, HP Lovecraft. Okay, what do we got? You guys saw that, right? I know you didn't miss it. Hi, Martinez. How are you doing, Marty? Well, what's I don't know. Should we catch them? Let's catch them. They went in here. Living quarters. Well, before. Do y'all see anything? It was a ghost. Now that we have daylight, the no, ghost went in No, remember, you're, you're, you're delusional. You're just seeing things. Okay. You know what? Let's go in here first. Pokeball go. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Iron. So what? All right. Uh, James Barlow locked. It's locked. We Children. probably got to remember these names. Oh, okay, we, we had Jonathan DeWitt earlier. That was one of the doctors. Okay. Locked. 
<laughs> Who are you gonna call? Holy sh! Oh, what are those? What Cubi are they? Cubie dolls? Bust? They are their eight cups. Oh, it's that little stat tiki statue that they found on the Brady Bunch movie that caused Greg to have all the problems. Remember that? No, but it's it looks like he's evil, holding weed. Little tiki evil doll. Whatever it is. Oh. If his coat oh, is I'm sorry you're right tired, here. Martinez, but look at the bright side. Now? It's Friday. So, wait Who are you going to call? Ooh. Ghostbusters! Damn, damn it. Oh. Jilted likes the uh, TV static -y effect that happens. Yeah, there's That's some cool, cool effects. This was made with Unreal Engine, by the <laughs> I way. know our tiny babies. Uh, David Burka. So who tried to give us the scare? Lost. Somebody called N. Hansen. Hansen. N. Hansen has a doll fetish. Okay, who's this? This is Ned Will. Ooh, we got a radio. Cool. Totally Yay, take it. Walkie talkie. Pencils. Need pencils. Yeah. You can never have too many number two pencils. Well, let me take them. Oh, Lynn man. Brown. Locked. Locked. I'm going to try to make up on time now. What is that? Nikolai uh, Google. Google. The portrait. <laughs> That's not how you spell Google. <laughs> All right. Uh, so we got that. Um, can you keep it? Let's read it. It won't let us look at it. So what's the what's the point? If his coat is just where is he here, now? Yeah, we got it. Now? Lenning, nothing. Hmm. Okay. Well, that dude came in here. <laughs> that dude came in here. You know the spooky dude. Yeah. So this is where we came from. There's where you go. Where are you gonna go, Cove Cotton Eye Joe? Joe. <laughs> oh. I wonder what the difference is between crew room. What? I saw you game. I saw you. And the fact that I know this is a horror game, I'm not... Are they following us? The dolls? Yes. <laughs> All right, let's go in here. I'm sorry. Dolls are some of the creepiest things ever. All right. We have an OCD person setting up the props for this game. Small. How can you tell? They're off kilter a bit. Yeah, but look. He's got a perfect diagonal going. Yeah. <laughs> You can appreciate the OCD-ness of the person who set up that visual. James Barlow. Uh, do I know that name? It's locked. Everything around here is freaking locked. Oh! Hello, Mr. Blake's place. We're going to invade your home. This is a really awesome game. And it's a little indie game. It's indie. Yeah. Uh, it is awesome. The last time I've had this kind of enjoyment playing a game was another HP Lovecraft game. We love everything HP Lovecraft. All right, uh, June 23rd. So this is a few days after the other note. I know we're close to what we've been looking for. During the adaptation sessions we hold here in the meeting room, I feel a guidance of some sort, something pointing towards the destination we seek. Um, uh, Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, Dormant. That's awful. My wife was a room full of those creepy porcelain ones. I won't go. <laughs> That's all right. I used to have. I used to keep clowns in my bedroom. <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't know yeah. what happened to that one. I don't. She threw them out. He had a statue. Of she a threw clown. them out. It was terrible. It. He had had it for years, and I had to point out the fact that the clown was. Uh, hovering over a small child while he held a mallet behind his back. Uh, I said, that is not a nice clown. You know what? It was an evil clown. He was holding the mallet behind his back to keep the child from seeing it. Because so he, he didn't want to fear the child. The head while he, he didn't want to hurt. He didn't want to scare the child. That's Whatever. why he had the mallet. No, he just didn't want his kid to see anyway, it coming. So I, I come home from work one day and the clown that I've had for 20 years was gone. <laughs> It was gone. It used to hide in the back of a cabinet somewhere. When we moved, I don't know what happened to it. The wearable canarium. <laughs> okay, hang on. Oh, oh, I just learned something, dear. Look. Canarium, right? Yes. Okay, that's the name of the game, right? Yes. As in Peter Griffin would say, there, there it is. is. Right. 
the wearable canarium we're wearing on our left arms connects to um, and thus receives sensation from the same ancient source. So that thing that I'm currently wearing on my arm is a canarium. Isn't that the stuff that they were like running the sessions with? Remember? And everybody was freaking out. And now I'm just wearing one on my arm. Okay. And sometimes I wonder where Seems there wrong. has been. Yeah, I know, right? Has ever been another soul du uh, during humanity's rel relativity? Yeah. Brief period of existence who was able to achieve such a feat. Within some shunned and elusive sources I have gathered from around the world, it is said that the extraterrestrial species, the Elder Thing race... You guys remember the Elder Things, right? The old ones? No. Uh, built... Yes, you do. Okay, sure I do. Yes. Um... I mean, really, elder yeah. things. I mean, that's all that H.P. Lovecraft preaches yes, about. But its purpose remains unclear. Race and freak, you made Race it. Race and freak, you made it. Oh, my God. That's so cool. So this thing right here is a canarium. Did not know that. Okay. We found... Um, it looks like something they check your ears with at the doctor's office, dear. It's, I know it's... it's uh, a commercial grade one, though. What do you think? I'm thinking that's going to be a wrench handle. I don't ever get this right. I, I don't know why you keep typing. You've got a microphone in front of your mouth. Because I'm getting you could the spend... moderator info to pop up. Okay. Oh, Stuff. look at what we found. Stuff. It's an old hair It's dryer. stuck. Well, I want to open it. It's a chicken roaster. Ancient uh. crock pot. <laughs> Okay, so we have the parietal lobe, we have the cerebellum, the frontal lobe, Carabe and the temporal cerebellum. 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 That's a C. And you, how do you spell care? C A R A. It's no, just C A R E. Care. Uh, Home care. You know, your grandpa's sick. You have somebody come over. You call it care. Cerebellum. You're making my. Temporal hurt. lobe. <laughs> Penal gland. Cerebellum. Oh, uh, medulla obligata. You know where I learned to say that word? Do I want to know? Dangerfield. Roddy Dangerfield. Yeah. <laughs> Scientifically, the penile gland, also known as the pineal body, canarium. Oh, uh, so this has to do with that little thing that pops up in the forehead. Did y'all ever watch Scanners? Was that Scanners? And that little thing popped up out of the forehead? <laughs> Do y'all remember that? And the guy's head exploded? No. Oh, my God. If you didn't see scanners back in the 70s or the 80s. Your cop was going to guess uh, gay water boy. <laughs> water sucks. It really, really sucks. Uh, but anyway, so let's finish this. It is located in the whatever that word is, near the center of whatever that word us brain, <laughs> between the two hemispheres. The penile gland produces melatonin, uh, serotonin. Or is that serotonin. scrotum? Scrotum. No, no. It's serotonin. Derived hormone, <laughs> which modulates sleep patterns in both uh, whatever that is and that is. Okay. Sir, really? Do you need me to read for Yeah, you? yeah. As a part of the human body not fully understood today, it holds its deep rooted place is most important. All right. What I, what I do know is that was a big part of scanners. Okay. Oh, that was a trophy. We got a trophy. Uh, hidden plants of great antiquity. That's all we get for that? <laughs> I wasn't born till the 2000s. That's I know, movie, man, man. But you know what? It's a classic movie, dude. I bet you've heard of Home Alone or Die Hard. Yeah, Die Hard is a great Christmas movie. <laughs> yeah, they did make it into a great Christmas <laughs> What is this? It's not Christmas until you watch Die Generated Hard. voices outputted to speakers. Incoming power needs to be regulated. Main feed input backside. Auditory and visual data are fed to the main system by the primary filters. Uh, is it already possible to feed the machine with the actual brain? Cyborg? Machine okay. thing, but they put actual human parts in it. Cool. Ancient sources speak too secretly about this based on the writings of R. Bacon and Wolfgang von Keplin. I will try to improve the machine. I think I already know what's inside here. A head. I'm gonna go with it's a head. It won't open. 
I was thinking it was just a like a Victorian Instapot. <laughs> I love you, dear. Iron watched all three Home Alones. Oh, goody. I could name a thousand movies that you saw long that came out long before 2000. Older city runs. Um, okay. You see these markings that are going to the minutes that give you the latitude? Longitude minutes? Mm -hmm. I ain't going to try to read that right and on the right. But I'm thinking, oh, I guess I will. <laughs> After a half hour of momentary aerial exploration of the unholy, utterly alien cyclopean maze of square curved and angled blocks, we could detect most of the locations revealed by the previous mes uh, Mescatonic University expedition leader. Okay. Just so you guys know from the book, uh, this whole thing was based on a exploration taken by the mes Mescatonic University. Uh, they were very well prepared, had like five airplanes, uh, 50 dogs, uh, tons and tons of supplies. They came out here to just do basic exploration. That was the what the book fed us, okay? And they were digging into a shell using the latest and greatest in digging technologies. When they busted into a hollow of the earth, they turned into this gigantic cave and they found this ancient civilization. And by ancient, I'm talking like 100 million years. Okay, ancient civilization. So that's what this is all about. Uh, this game picks up where that left off. So this guy is coming out to supposedly... Um, investigate what happened but obviously that's not what we see here i'm just telling you what you are what i read it looks like this guy was part of the expedition and he has amnesia now but what are we looking for is not there inside the haunted shoggoth ruins now you guys that follow uh, hp lovecraft already know who shoggoth is according to various sources it should be in the much older ruins beyond the elder city right on the edge of the mountain beyond the mountains of madness and by the way, Mountains of Madness is an actual legit place, at least in H.P. Lovecraft world it is. It was built over a location deeply shunned by the Elder Things and built long before the colossal city Dr. Dyer and his team explored. Dr. Dyer was like the main dude in the last one in the book. Now we set foot upon the lands no one has ever seen before, a vast mass of dry land around the South Pole, which rose from the primal waters when the old ones seeped down from the stars, a place so evil most of the arcane sources hesitated to record it all, while some murals within this elder city depicted it with obvious repugnant intrepidation. Hmm. That was way too much reading, but you know what? Was it helpful? I'm going to retain every bit of it. Yeah, because it was all very, very helpful uh, for what's going to happen in this game. Uh, Darman said that uh, he used to buy $4 sales at Blockbuster all through high school, and he owns hundreds of B-horror movies from the 70s. Oh, man, you rock, dude. I love every one of those suckers. So we, we got Dormant. Uh, most of my beard is gray. Oh, yeah. Dormant Tulip, you and I have something in common, my friend. You see this? Look at this. All started occurring in my 20s. By the time I was in my mid-30s, I was white. People thought I was an old guy. I mean, hell, I'm not even that old now. But uh, look what I found, dear. I found a button to push. Should we push it? Yes, I'm pushing absolutely. it. Okay, now we have... Roxanne, turn on your green light. Oh. Okay, what do we got going on here? Okay. We have a puzzle, peeps. Miss Mel, I hope you're out there. <laughs> She's got the big brain in the audience. Uh, voltage. We got a lot of big brains in the audience. Yeah, we do. We got a lot of big. Okay, so we have a voltage meter here. Uh, Jilted said Sky reminds me of that commander from the Toys movie where the toys get military AI chips installed. <laughs> Okay. I'm turning, starting to saltish and pepper. LOL. Oh, hair. <laughs> I think we need to get a new patch. Mordow. Huh? Oh, that was a follow. Okay, Mordow has posted a new patch. Never mind. That game, guys, if y'all don't know, it's a multiplayer 
high action game. I can't wait to play with you peeps. Definitely going to have something going on with the server with that game. Can't do nothing with this. Can't do nothing with this. So it's strictly up with this and this. Uh, I think we need to be matching something up here. Maybe you want a flat line? I was kind of thinking these need to be the same length. Oh, I see what's going on. See the red in the back? How it's flying? Alright, so we kind of need the wavelength. Uh, it's, it's, do you remember the game that we played where we had to match the wavelength in it? Mm -hmm. Was that Soma or Penumbra? It was Penumbra. But you had to match the length and the uh, amp, uh, amp, well, amplitude, I think is the yeah. word. Right now we're sucking it. I mean, we're just sucking it. A future Ho pop wholesale. said uh, Mordo is like Chivalry 2.0. Yes, it is. Man, I can't wait to play with you guys for reals. Yeah, Dharma said maybe watch the wavelengths. Get the top. Well, line there are no the wavelengths beats. though, are there? I mean, uh, get the it's a speed. The, there's the red line. Yeah, it's barely moving. Mm -hmm. That's what Racy Freaks say. Get the top line to match the beeps. Mrs. Mel said she was thinking the same thing. All right. Well, I'm needing more details because right now I see this is getting longer. These are getting shorter. And Iron has no clue what's happening. <laughs> okay. Those are about the same length, right? The reds and the whites are about the same length. But the whites are too fast. There we go. Getting better. There we go. Uh, maybe one more. Eh. Well, that sucks. Eh. What the hell? I barely touched you it. You went too far. <laughs> or to match the light flash. Oh, good point. Yeah, it's the smell. Then, then, then. Well, they're about the same uh, speed now, right? Can we agree they're about the same speed? I don't think the game cares. <laughs> All right. Let's go right here. This is why I'm glad Mrs. Mel's in the audience as well as the other peeps because I suck at these kind of games. Duh. We got too many white things on the screen. That's what. <laughs> Never mind. I'm going to shut up. <laughs> You're doing fine, dear. I don't understand this stupid puzzle. All right, guys. What of you out there are like thinking to yourself, "Oh my God, this guy's a complete moron. He can't figure out a basic puzzle." That person needs to post in the comments what I'm doing wrong so I can correct it. <laughs> let's let's uh, let it get caught up. I'm trying to speed it up where the white gets on top of the red. <laughs> Iron Ars, this is Mel. Do something. Uh, we need that to be the same size. Look at the that the fat Albert. What did it say? <laughs> Nothing. I got a funky noise. So that means this will. Oh my God! Stop. You gotta be kidding me! You just made a really a fun noise. Light. Well, we got that matched up, I guess. Hmm. So we got one of the settings right. I guess it's now the speed. Oh, listen. We're about to have it. I think I'm... It's like red light, green light. 
Getting closer. Ah. Syndicate, thank you so much for that host, brother. Thank you, Syndicate. You rock, man. Jump scares. Well, yeah, would you host it? <laughs> yeah. That and the dolls falling out of the locker. Oh, my God. I'm going to get up and walk away from this first puzzle. I've had just enough to drink that I don't give a shit. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. I've stopped. This top light went green, right? Yes, so now you've got to do it again with the bottom light. It's a matter of adjusting the slider and the knob again. Oh, we're, we're starting from scratch, yeah. but for the bottom. I would assume so. Because uh, you're not interfering with the top light anymore, so now you got to redo it for the bottom. Okay, let's get that going really slow. Dot, dot. Okay, I see what you're doing there. And don't forget your slider. You don't hear the beep, 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 you don't more. I mean, it's like super slow. I get what you're doing there, game. You're just trying to make me quit. I, I, li I still like Matt gets the quote of the day. I think it was Matt. Mrs. Mel, do something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe try the small knobs. <laughs> you know what? She might be small, but she tries hard. <laughs> Sorry. That wasn't right. Keep going. I got I this. Have faith in you. I do too. I know what the problem is. I haven't had enough to drink yet. No, you're good. <laughs> All right. You do see where I figured out the secret here, though, right? No, I don't. Well, when you're on this side of it, it goes that way. When you're on that side of it, it goes the other. Oh my god. I think god. you're doing right going that way. Try it again. I feel like I'm right on it. Yeah. Okay, that's. Come on. It's right in between them. God, this thing sucks. I know it's me, guys. I don't never blame the game. I blame the per player. That right there is the right thing to do, though. I think that that is perfect. Maybe right here? What we need to do is let it catch up and ready... Click. Ah, oh, damn it. Wrong side. Okay, as soon as it gets under it. See, I got it right on top of it, I thought. I feel like we have the right uh, longitude, uh, what is it called? There's amplitude and then there's the weight. Ah, hell, I don't remember. I don't know what I'm talking about. Don't listen to me. No, you're doing great. Are you following chat? You got this, Miss Mel says. Mm -hmm. Wishful thinking. No, he doesn't. Matt! <laughs> Matt! <laughs> it's another Don't Matt. you have schoolwork or something to go do, man? You could put go into lurk mode. Yeah. See, if when Matt can't be here, Iron fills in for him. Isn't that nice? Yeah, it's nice that we have a new Matt. Yeah. <laughs> Except I don't think they get along very well. I mean, don't forget, I, I was both at Pit Forge and Squared, so. Magandong. Uh, you do you do know that um, Matt told me he extended an uh, invitation out to Hunter today to join the hardcore server. Oh, he did. He did. That was nice of him. He did. Yeah, I was so glad he did that. It'd be cool to see Hunter again. I miss picking on him. Hunter's uh, actually released a video lately. He's got like a newfound fire to really focus on making YouTube his career. Well, that that would be awesome, and then he could waste his law degree. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's still planning on going to law oh, school. Oh, I know. I'm just playing. <laughs> then we could spend and the next know? 20 years watching him never complete a building. Did you know he's getting married, too? Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, well, that's really good. Soon. At least he, He's you know, graduating from college. He, he's once you get married, done with college, do your thing. And he's going to you know go what? on to law school. Finish law school. 
He's got plans. He's doing good. You know what? We love Hunter. Absolutely. Love picking on him. Yeah, you do. <laughs> I don't think in bit, three years of SMPs... Much. I've never seen him complete a building other than the first house. And he's usually As I got, said, oh. it's not true. He did finish his house in the medieval. All right. Other people are like watching the game going, please get this shit on the road. Yeah, Iron, he's graduating really soon from college, but he's going to go on to law school. Yeah, and we applaud the crap out of him Hi, for... Hi, Freak. Am I hungry? Are you hungry, dear? I can always Race eat, dude. Freak's asking Why? What do they got going on? Racing Freak! Come over here and finish this damn puzzle, man. <laughs> Call in the cavalry. I'm going to miss not having Racing Freak next door. I know. Oh, by the way, peace for y'all that don't know, that don't pay attention on Discord. Racing Freak is moving. I'm no longer going to be able to call in the cavalry. Yeah, but he still be close, just not right across nah, the Nah, but he's going to be like six miles from us, and that's going to suck. Yeah. You know, I get, I get a hunger binge, and here's Racing Freak walking in my front door. Yeah. I'm uh, actually not hungry, but if I could eat, is, I he, could eat. You want some taco I, soup? Yeah, fine. Whatever. <laughs> no, I can't eat. I'm in the middle of a stream. I do appreciate it, Race That's Freak. Love you, man. Though. Love you. Appreciate the <laughs> offer, but nah, we're good. Uh, one, I just put a fresh dip of Copenhagen in my mouth. And two, I want to solve this damn puzzle. Dudes, this ain't that hard. It ain't that damn hard. So what... Okay, let's just stop and, and look at this for a minute. We need to slow down the top one, right? So let's go right here. Okay. I feel like it's Johnny on the spot right here. So let's just do it. Okay. Now... Oh. You did it. Right. I wow. certainly just need... Oh! I was right about what was in the case, too, wasn't uh, I? Oh, it's a head. And look what's on its forehead. Well, oh, and he's moving. I was right twice. One, it's a cyborg head, and two, it's got an eyeball right on top of that gland. Is that an eyeball or another mouth? No, it's the, uh, from the penal gland, whatever you <laughs> call that. The <laughs> pituitary gland. Third eye blind. Great band. <laughs> Are you done? I'm going to tell you something important. Do you I need don't to know. make that red light green now? That's next one. All right, let's push this. I want to see the animation again. Oh, we can talk to him. Who are you? Who are you? Uh, I'm, I'm Frank. Frank. Hey, we know who we are now. Frank Gilman. Is that so? Yes, that's so. Is there a problem with that? Are you not going to answer me? I got to click. My name is Frank Gilman, an anthropologist joining this expedition upon the invitation by Venerable Dr. Faust himself. Does well, anybody else have a problem with that response? This thing is claiming that it's me. That's absurd. Why? You're claiming that you're me, Frank Gilman, but you're just a machine. Where is everybody? Uh, what do you know about Dr. Faust? Okay, Frank, tell me, what are you here exactly? Um, I'm going to go, where is everybody? Where is everybody? They are here. I don't see anybody around. Are you sure? Yes. Guys, the concept for this is amazing. This is an indie developer. Keep that in mind. This is very creepy. What do you know about Dr. Faust? Okay, Frank, tell me. Why are you here exactly? Okay, Frank. Tell me why are you here exactly? I am here because of my extensive knowledge on the human pineal gland. That's my I job. The all right, all right, all right, all right. Canarianaut? Not going to answer me now that it's important, are you? Voyagers beyond. Oh! 
Okay, that makes sense. Uh, you're claiming that you're me, Frank Gilman. Just, all right. We don't want to hurt his feelings. Uh, beyond. We'll you find don't out. want to hurt his feelings. Beyond? What beyond? No answer. Uh, what do you know about Dr. Faust? What do you know about Dr. Faust? He is the Grand Mastermind, and the pioneer of this expedition. Yes, yes he is. Okay, well I got one more choice now. You're claiming that you are me, Frank Gilman. But you are just a machine. And you are just a- <laughs> Oh! Yeah, what do you mean by that? It doesn't answer oh, me. Oh, Dora was asking if this thing runs on DOS. Yeah, right? Racing Freak. <laughs> yep. You have found a secret. All right, we found a secret. We weren't supposed to know about this guy, I guess. Um, yeah, so we got this dude, uh, oh, hell, I guess the, their version of, what was that dude's name? Du -du 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 the guy always stuttered. The head. Oh, uh, Max Headroom. Max Headroom. Yeah, we found their version of Max Headroom. Very nice. 80s reference. Old Very, people alert. Yeah, old people alert. <laughs> Mrs. Mel went to get food and she came back to this. Yeah, so... Wow. So we got through the puzzle peeps. Uh, I think we're done in this room. Can you keep we, them? We know our name is Frank Gilman. You can't keep them? Can't take them with you? That's sad. All right. So that was MC Blake. Who was the ne the leader That's it, of the band? Not <laughs> you and me. M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E. -E. Okay. All right. This is Dr. Faust's room. Well, He's the leader. You didn't oh. really dig much in the office for papers or keys or anything like that, did you? Did I lock See, this my is door? me. I don't remember where my keys are. We know who we are now. Racing Freaks that go left. I, you know what? I've been going left. <laughs> oh, Trust crazy. me, you weren't here earlier, Racing Freak. I went outside to do some exploring, and I said my good friend Racing Freak would want me to go left, and I went left. Just so you know. I think we got everything out of here, dear. Okay. There weren't any drawers to rifle through or anything like nah, that? Nah, I think it was just that stupid puzzle. Okay. And I enjoyed the puzzle. So but it, yet, it was stupid. It was stupid, but I enjoyed it. Okay, <laughs> okay. we're done. All right, stupid, I think we're done. Puzzle. Nice. Uh, before we leave, we did get the all the way down here, right? Let's check all the areas. Mm -hmm. We're taking way too long. Nah, you're good. I uh, can't remember which way we came from. Is this a different area? Definitely on a boat. No, we went outside, dear. We're not on a boat. It sure sounds like it. Yeah. How it creaks. Yeah. I think it's one of those modular stations they set up. Ah. Uh. Okay, so crew rooms. So we haven't been to the crew rooms yet. We were in the personal rooms. Oh, look. It's a guy with a mustache like mine. Is that Barry Manilow with a mustache? Yeah, okay. That that's Barry Manilow with a mustache. It totally is. Okay. Uh nothing we can keep. Oh dear, that's not good. Dormant said according to Google, my place of employment is permanently closed. Oh, that's that's nice. <laughs> My big question is when will the electricity run out, just like in real life? Hey, I got I, I just put five gallon jerry can in it, so shh. <laughs> These nightmares <laughs> have become unbearable. I still see the same man in my nocturnal visions. But now he's holding something in his hand, which I believe to be a lotus flower. We seem to be continuing this grave and serious conversation again and again, but I still can't remember the contents during working hours. Sometimes I hear his voice through the radio. It is not a form of meaningful sentences, but more like some unconscious mutterings. I'm afraid to tell anyone about this, for I hate the very idea of the suspension. That's the word. Suspension. suspension. I will probably be facing like the bridge like the bridge my wife has never let that go <laughs> the suspension was she <laughs> absolutely clipped it 
and made a big deal because hey. I said suspension. Yeah, I wasn't the only one. Mountain Dew Mania was having a fit too. She was dying laughing. But you saw it said suspension. Yes. I'm proud of you, dear. Big 25 cent word. Suspension is not a big 25 cent word. <laughs> Ooh, well, what is that? Oh, good. I got some gloves. That's goggles. I, that's what I said. I got some goggles. Okay. <laughs> and we got a butterfly. Potty break. All right, Matt. You go on your potty break, man. Just hope I Another don't have to come wipe drink. you or something. Drugs. Like so. Hey, we found a scout. Oh, we found some stuff. Oh, there's our friend. Oh, look. <laughs> may the force be with you. Oh, by the way, may the force be with you this weekend. That's tomorrow. <gasps> that is tomorrow. Tomorrow's, Tomorrow's Star Wars Day. May the fourth be with you. And guess what the fifth is? Uh, may the Sith. Cinco de Mayo. Oh, I was going to thought. Dollar we margarita gonna... and free taco day. Well, we've already got a date planned for tomorrow night. Boop, boop. Just, just throwing it out there. And right after our date, I'm coming back here drunk playing Dark Souls. <laughs> <laughs> Dark Souls drunk. Get ready, peeps. One of these composite sculptures we've come across during our initial field trips. It has an open third eye in the forehead as well as inside its hand, which I think indicates some kind of state of knowing because allusions to knowledge in elder things recur all the time in almost every bas relief we've discovered so far. All this leads me to believe these creatures inhabiting these halls have acquired some kind of knowledge from the elder things, fabled creatures from primal myths. Well, that and oh. the lower half of its head's missing and it's not on its... Yeah. Racing Freak had a good question. The picture that you picked up with the child... Yeah. The small is that the same kid that was in the other picture? I don't know. You think that was a And Iron is very proud of you for saying big boy words. He wants to thinks you should be given a nickel for saying a big boy word. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Revenge of the Fifth. Revenge of the Sith. The fifth. Yeah. That's the other holiday for the fifth. I was seeing more free tacos and margaritas day. So we got me the fourth and Revenge of the Sith. I gotta set a jar of mayonnaise in the sink for the fifth. I'm inclined more sink towards the notion that our nocturnal <laughs> visions are not just faint and fantastic reflections of our walking experiences. Every time I pass into the state of dormancy, how somehow I can explore while I'm dreaming of the vistas of grandeur grandeur an alien prospect of a natural disposition so vividly expressing the outer extent of this world i've yet to discover if only i was endowed with the artistic skill to describe my visions all i know is that all this became evident after canarium sessions had started even though i'm not one of the participants i'm somehow affected i feel i'm absorbed while in unconscious state into the oblivion Crossing uh, the line but beyond the wall of sleep. L. Ferguson. Okay, so he has issues. Yeah, Dorman, I was very sad to hear Peter Mayhew had passed away. Ah, Chewbacca's dead. Oh, yeah, and, and Peter Mayhew. Hey, look, another porn stash. That's the same guy. So the pictures of him and his He's child. Probably, that's probably the developer and his wife. Okay. How about the picture on the top of the cabinet? Is that him too? Nope, that's the dad. Okay. He's way too fat to be the same guy. Oh, but I was going to say, Peter Mayhew actually lives really close to, or used yeah, to live really close to he, us. He lives over about here. 15 minutes from us. Yeah. So, it was very. It very was sad that Chewbacca died, considering he was practically a neighbor. Yeah, uh, run, uh, Racing Freak pulled into work today. First thing out of his mouth was, Did you hear that Chewbacca died? Yeah. <laughs> You know what I didn't realize was that he uh, he'd come back to do the ne next three Star Wars movies, but he was only able to do the first one. The other two he sat in as a Lord. as a, a consultant, but it's he locked. was his health wouldn't allow him to actually participate in the I movies mean, anymore. I mean, seriously, what can a Chewbacca contribute? Chewbacca was awesome. No, I'm talking about as a consultant. So there's oh. the kid you were talking about. That's what I was coming back in here for. We've already oh, we've already done all this. All right, so we've done the crew quarters. We've got a little bit of information. Nothing world altering. Uh, James Barlow. We know who a lot of these people are now. That's good. 
we can't move nothing. But why did he live in Texas? Uh, believe it or not, we have quite a few famous people that live really close to us. That what they do is they buy big hmm. ranches wow. here in Texas. Yeah. Um, he was born there. No, he's actually from England did originally. Did I lock my door? But I don't remember. But he my bought keys a big are. spread of uh, real estate in Brock, Texas. Yeah, like I said, about not even probably 15 minutes from here. Uh, but you know, a lot of there, like she was saying, there's a lot of people here that move out here. Larry Ted Hagman, Nugent. Dallas, Ted Nugent. Yeah, Ted Nugent bought a big ranch over in and the state A lot of you Texas. younger people don't even know who these people are, but Larry yeah. Hagman was like the most popular actor in the country for decades. A lot of people like the taxes in Texas. I mean, 594,000 uh, jobs came from California to Texas over the last decade. Mm -hmm. okay. Ted the man. Oh, yeah. So, I think we've done been through all these rooms at this point. So, now that we've gone through all these rooms, I think we can safely go somewhere else now. Living quarters are done. You think you've heard of Larry Hagman? He played... Um, J.R. Ewing from Dallas. Mm -hmm. And he also was in a really old... T for you, a really old TV series called I Dream of Genie. I Dream of Genie. One of my favorite. Oh, look, honey. Oh, yeah, another one. Well, you already got that. So. Oh, this is the room we started with. Mm -hmm. But you need to fix that machine now, right? No. Yeah. No, there's nothing here. And we've already read all this stuff. This is where we started. You can't. Get all those right, we started here. Discover something really amazing. No, we left the meeting room. We went oh. right. We went through all the quarters. <laughs> uh, we looked at all these pictures. Okay, good to know. It's kind of funny because that signs on all the doors too, sort of. Redundant. Okay, that's about the black cat. Okay, yeah, we've done all that. Oh, okay, we can go up to the radio room now. Oh, Iron said then I've never heard of him. <laughs> okay. Well, I Dream of Genie was with Barbara Eden, and it was very, very popular back then. Oh, the actually, um, Larry Hagman's mother actually lived in the town. Right next to right us. Right next to us, about 20 minutes away. And uh, she was the original Peter Pan. Yep. In Peter Pan original, was a woman. Yeah, in a Disney movie. Long, long, long time ago. Okay, so that's that. Before I get out of this area, let's go ahead and take a look in the infirmary. Nothing? No clues in the infirmary? Surely. Uh, okay, Jay DeWitt. So we've got something on Jay DeWitt. So let's read that and see what we've got. S Psychoactive plants. Okay. That's all we get. I think each one of the doctors, they were all like PhD people. And they all had a specialty. Rather it be geology or plants or test tubes. Can we take a test tube? No? Definitely not the thing. Can you climb in a vent? <laughs> I saw you looking at the vent. Won't be, uh... I'm trying to stay on this floor right now. So we got the elevator, infirmary, and storage rooms. Cool. Stuck. Okay, so that we're back in here. Ha! <laughs> I beat you. I beat you. Barely. It's stuck. <sighs> Storage. Locked. Is Man, we need to find a key. Something. Jesus. What are those? More heads. Furnaces. Mm -hmm. Yeah, find some keys. Okay, that's elevator. We don't want the elevator yet. All right. That was locked. Locked. So help me get back to where I was. I wasn't really paying attention. 
Where's the one the, with the stairs going up? It was this way, wasn't it? Oh, the canteen. Let's go in here. Yay! Oh, it smells awful in here. It's it Every it. door in this freaking left, building left, is... Left, 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 left. <laughs> Somebody likes coffee and black tea. Yeah, racing freaks. Here we got... Uh, find some keys. Dormant or a big hammer. Herbal tea and sugar. Or a blowtorch. Oh, that ex that's why Stop. it was stuck. Hi, Sheik. How are you? Hey, hey Sheik. Welcome. Uh, welcome to the HP Lovecraft night. Iron, that does not sound familiar to me at all. Anyone remember Disco Head from that one game that launched a missile and you were a robot? Nope. Mm, nope. Unfortunately. Hey, hey. So, it, this is a HP Lovecraft based game. And he's lost. I'm not lost. I'm just looking around. <laughs> Lots of doors. That's got bags of potatoes behind it. He's lost. Uh, storage is locked. We have an elevator right over here. Right? We don't want to take the elevator yet. There were some stairs going up, peeps. Infirmary. Them stairs are somewhere. Storage. I think I'm going the wrong way, though. I really do. What was this? Living quarters. We've done all the living quarters now, twice. Alright, I'm definitely lost. You're right, dear. Um... Where's the meeting room at? Because that will... Down this hallway. Radio room. Here we go. Found it. Yay. Progress. We got a camera. Hey. We that's can, cool. Yeah. Can you actually keep it? I don't think... That, that don't look 1949 to me, though. Or 44... I think the book started in 44. We're in 1949 now, though. Where does the wind come from? Iron it's radio. Uh. This is Upuat Expedition Base. Pequot, please come in. I repeat, this is Upuat Expedition Base. Pequot, do you hear me? There is someone who can hear me. Please, come in. Some electrical condition in the disturbed air seems to prevent communication. Yep, Dormant remembers that game, Iron. Okay, that looks important, but we can't take it. Can you push a button? Ooh, you have a new tab. Where'd the secrets tab come from? That's my inventory. These are the secrets that we discovered. That was oh, that head. Oh, gotcha. Oh, that static is annoying. A little bit. <laughs> what well, makes when the rotation of the Earth, bird farts. Okay. July oh, 5th, 1949. <laughs> For a while, my nights have been plagued by bizarre nightmares wherein I've been talking to an unsubstantial figure. This has been a common theme so far throughout for those that are just joining. When I was when I wake up every morning, I fail to remember either his visage or the con that was a great game. I love playing visage. We did that in one setting. I love the Easter egg ending too. We found that. Or the content of the dialogue. Only his silhouette taking a somber tone. These nightmares keep me from sleeping comfortably. The kind of sleep I'm longing for. I haven't mentioned this to anybody yet, but I'm feeling a constant urge to do so as if my well-being is in the balance. It would be most logical to consult with Dr. DeWitt about this. Okay. That was a secret. Well, we're doing good on secrets. We found two so far. So we've tried to make the radio call. We've looked at the binoculars. So this whole room was for that one secret, because there's nothing else in here. 
Okay, we've been in the radio room. Oh. Morse code tables. Dot, dot, dot. So short, long, long is A. Let's memorize these right quick. Long, short, short, short is B. Long, short, long, short is C. Are you getting all this, dear? Oh, yeah. My long, short, taken. short is D. And a single dot is an E. Okay, I got it. Yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> There's a storm outside, and I really want to become Thor. Just don't become Ant-Man. Uh, Y'all remember north, south, east, and west, 246. Uh, diagonally in each direction. 246. Yeah. Dot, dot, dash, 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 dot, dot. Victoria land. Not while we're playing the game, Iron. <laughs> he said there's a thing called the internet. <laughs> we, do, we do our best not to. We really do. Yeah. This place it, is a mess. Takes some of the fun out of it. Every now and then I'll get totally stuck and it'll be late at night. Someone Shit. send Iron Ore a key and a kite. <laughs> you can look up the Morse code online. I believe Dr. Or Hansen carved all those statues in the form of the man he saw in his nightmares. Oh, Dr. Hansen. Remember, his locker was the one that had all the... Uh, all the creepy little wooden little, Yeah. Okay, so was that it? Was that it for this side? That's Do we need the elevator? I think we just need the elevator at this point. That goes outside. Okay. That's that room. We're done. I think we've covered everything pretty good, don't you, dear? It seems like it. Infirmary. Uh, storage. Okay, it's time to get on with it. Elevator time. We've kind of got the backstory now. It's time to play the game. The abundance of five pointed shapes seen in the design of the structures we've come. God, I hate that. The fact that this is an indie game just blows me away. Oh wow, look at that. This is amazing. See the tree? Mm hmm That's really cool. And we're underground. And in Antarctica where trees just don't grow. Look at the shadows. Whoever did this is unreal. Get it? Unreal? Uh, it was done in Unreal? Yeah. Okay. I think the tree is symbolic for something else. Tree of life. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh. Okay, as in racing freak, I'm going to start on the left. So this is where we came in where the orange lights are. We're going to go left. It won't open. open. Oh. Hi. How are you? Oh. Hello. Don't darks. go away, Mad. Just go away. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I think he's carrying the story forward. Okay, nothing. Link elevator has been set up. It can now reach both the tower and bottom levels below the base. Camp equipment and parts of the portable submarines are being transported to the first campsite. So we have a submarine. Uh, no. No. We haven't even touched this level yet. So we need to remember... Can't coming, touch this? Can't touch this. Nah, <laughs> nah, 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 nah. So as we look at the tree, we come over here, there's the link elevator. Uh, the bio lab. I don't want to go to the bio lab. Uh, it's stuck. The depot. Let's start with the depot. 
Yeah, Sheik said, you know, there are lots of stories of the old buildings in Antarctica being haunted. Ah, uh, we have Cthulhu. See, see the face, dear? There you go. Sully wanted to know where Cthulhu was. Of course, I'm sure he didn't hang around. So, But there he is. Who wanted to know? <laughs> Sully earlier. And he's like, where's Cthulhu? Oh, Cth yeah, Sully. He lasts five minutes. He's gone. A statue Attention beautifully carved from the blue crystal. It depicts a humanoid figure sitting in a meditative posture. The most striking feature of the carving is the octopian mask it wears on its face. Very cool. Can we take it? Hey, we got a trophy. That was a trophy, dear. Awesome. That's a good thing. Okay, oh, so it looks like we're going to the biology lab oh gotta watch destination truth they did a three-day stay Stuck. one down there creepy stuff all right we're headed to the bio lab i don't want to go to the bio lab though yeah she agrees with you it really was have to see that Run. Dorma Tool for the 10 beans. Hog Jam. Get them trophies. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for that. I like the trophies. Why is this one open? Isn't that bad? Those look like little mushrooms. Don't they look like mushrooms? I wonder if we can smoke them. Saving it to make spaghetti with mushrooms. Yeah, look, little mushrooms. I love the particle effects. Yeah. It's, uh, I'm thinking we need to open that. It's like some lens flare stuff going on too, every once in a while. Okay, well, we always, in every game we play that's like this, there's always a broken fuse box. J.J. Yeah, Abrams would be so proud of them. Lots. We need to get this place open. Wait a minute. That might help. We have a flashlight. Yeah, J.J. Abrams would be proud of the lens flares. Mm -hmm. Do you know who made the lens flares popular? Star Trek. Yep, you nailed it. We need a phonograph cylinder. Okay, so we need a photograph cylinder. Okay. We need a phonograph cylinder. Uh, okay. No way in hell I can read that. Ah! Oh, kitty kitty! Oh, we like kitty kitties. Remember what they said in that letter about the kitty kitty? Can we keep the kitty kitty? Mm-mm. Aw. I think the kitty kitty was, uh... A ghost or something. He's not really here. Look at his shadow, though. <laughs> Iron said, I was going to ask about that. <laughs> new campsite was established, waiting for new samples. Uh, there's a problem with one of the freezers. freezers. I marked it. Well, you don't have to mark it. It's open. He must be checked. It must be checked immediately. Okay. Are any of us really here? Killer kitty kitty. No, not killer kitty kitty. South Pole chart. Misunderstood kitty. With some markings on it. That looks important. Yeah, I know, but it won't let me interact. Hieroglyphics. Check this part. All right. What about up here? Anything important? More mushrooms. The blue stems. Blue mushrooms. Can I upgrade my weapons with that? Yeah. All right. Heading out for a bit. I'll be back if you're still on. All right. All right, Future Cop. Appreciate you coming in, man. Oh, Morse code. Yeah, the Sheik was reminding you Morse code. I'll lab two. Locked. Hi, Mrs. Tulip. Hey, Miss Tulip. Cats, Welcome. The messengers of the underworld. Yes. Yes, Nico's. All right. So this oh, is on the, the map. The map. 
the Morse code on the map. There's no Morse code on the map. Oh, okay. Oh, they have three things circled, but what? Uh, areas, I guess. They have letters circled. Just, uh, I yeah. I don't know. I think that's search areas. All right, we've got to be able to get this open. Dots and lines. Yeah, it, it looks more like just they've circled things on the map, though. Yeah. And welcome, Mrs. Tulips. Good to We're see so you. We're so glad to have you. Absolutely. Yeah, it's been a minute. Woot, woot. Um. Maybe we're not supposed to be in these doors yet. Maybe that's the problem. You see how they're yellow instead of green? Mm-hmm. Can you interact Th there's, with the Yeah, there's nothing in here. Everything looks plugged in. The light keeps flashing on and off. It does. That's weird. Flashlight. Well, that was sparking earlier, but it's... It still uh, there is. There it is. It's locked. Mm. That's going to say it's locked. All right, we're missing something somewhere, peeps. It goes over here. Man, it keeps making boat noises. Oh, look. That's what I was saying. All right, we found uh, a phonograph. Where was that player at? Where was that player at? There it is. Unfortunately, one of our researchers, C. Lenning, <clears throat> we was found, his found room. dead in the bio lab last Tuesday. Cause of death is currently uncertain. But judging by the accumulation of a mass of green substance found in his mouth and throat area. Dr. Barlow, our botany expert, thinks that Lenning was smothered by small, sticky, greenish clumps that look like pollen, belonging to the living samples of the plant Zahiti, which is thought to have become extinct during the Paleozoic era. A few million years old. Dr. DeWitt will perform a post-mortem examination on his body soon. Okay. So, Lenning's dead. That was sad to hear. Mm -hmm. Oh. Dr. Faust is very tight-tipped, by the way. Constantine was a great movie. Dr. Faust is a very tight-lipped uh, about how he came up with that strange exploration device he built a long time ago. It just so happens I know the backstory because I read the book. Uh, the only thing he's told me is that he came across some shunned and forbidden volumes about a device of extraterrestrial origin. But again, these sources do not hint that any existed on Earth, except in the dreams of those who uh, like to chew a certain alkaloidal herb. The sessions we hold in the meeting room to adapt our nervous system to the alien impulse of the machine were frightening at first. If used too much, it affects the body to a breaking point. But now I'm used to its non-human sensations. I've started to feel like the device is clearing my mind to make it absorb much more than ever before. I feel unconfined and much more receptive. But the most peculiar aspect of the sessions are that because it is shared oh it's a shared experience, I'm able to receive impressions, ideas and even memories which belongs to other, oh, belong to other participants. That's cool. Usually my mind wanders after the sessions end, and I cannot focus my thoughts until I've slept for several hours. That strange device surely disorients feelings and bodily functions. That <laughs> craps himself. But I believe that's what it offers them in support. Yeah, Iron Ara has some good questions. Okay. He said, what was the objective of the scientist, and what were they trying to do? Uh, they were over here. Misconception, I'm thinking. Because based on the book that came out, uh, to do some geology digs. They were just looking for fossils and stuff. Okay, they were digging. They had this new exploration equipment uh, for digging. I guess it was like the first drill. 
and uh, they came out here and were just drilling holes when they found this cavern. So they're they're um, and that's where they found the elder things, the Shagas, and all that kind of stuff. So that was the premise of the book. It says our uh, objective is just to find out what happened what to the crew members, doing. and all we know, based on the game, is that I woke up with amnesia, so I don't even know about myself. Oh. Uh, okay, peeps, your turn. Do we mess with the plant? Yeah, touch it. You touch sure? It. Yep, touch it. Go ahead. Lick it, Shelter uh, said. Lick, oh, fine. <laughs> Are you getting that confused with mushrooms? Oh, it's a pretty flower. <laughs> I don't try. It's actually Shelter stole my thought. It's millions <laughs> of years old. Oh. Good job, peeps. Good job. <laughs> don't screw with stuff you don't know. <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> ah, suck it up. You'll be fine. Ooh. You can hear stuff now. Kitty's doing something weird. Ah, sh <laughs> they will eat oh, the doors are open. No, you're going to die. <laughs> yeah, yay, the green spores. Right. <laughs> well, we got the doors unlocked. Jill just said that looked like a corpse plan a little bit. No, let me go. Let me move. Well, I, Iron Ore, I think that's the objective of the game is we're trying to figure out what they were up to. I think Dormant had nailed it earlier. They were down here for one I, thing, I, I, but I, they apparently were doing something completely different than what we thought. Yeah, Dr. Faust uh, knew a lot more than what he was letting on. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're down here <laughs> under false pretenses. He knew that the low... Our, Kind of thought he knew where the location of the elders were, the old things, and he found thirteen of them. That's like early on in the book, like not even twenty percent into the book, and we find these things. These are beings. Oh, speaking of, <laughs> oh yeah, Shelda said a flurkin. See, a flurkin. Captain Marvel. Yeah. So. Oh, yes. These are the pre-human species we found frozen in a cave far south of the base. Okay, so we've got, uh, there were 13 of them. There was actually 14, but he dissected one of them in the book. Yeah. Dormant says assumption would be that it was the plant that killed the other oh, guy. Yes. These are the pre-human species we found frozen in a cave far south of the base. Yeah, but you're missing a few. Hey, oh. Who is this? It's impossible to determine with so much decomposition. Hmm. But he had a key. Okay. And a note. We have finally finished excavating the monolith. Hey, that's from another book, too. That was silently waiting for a soul to see it again. Situated within the circular building, we reached the length elevator, link elevator. The magnificent piece of carving was buried halfway down under a mound of debris and most probably could have been written in the earliest pages of history. I cannot describe exactly what my feelings for the first time when I stood aghast, contemplating the gigantic stonework inside those time-worn halls of silence. Only God knows how many ages have passed since its initial carving. Just think about its age since shivers down uh, my spine. Which civilization could have constructed such a grandeur? Now waving a forlorn goodbye without giving away the secrets of its masters. Furthermore, even though most of them are damaged beyond repair, we spotted some symbols resembling the rock art of the Sahara Desert in the southeast Algeria. We don't have any strong evidence to suggest anything, but Cornell Blake, you guys should know that name, 
clings mostly to the continental uh, drift theory. In any case, we don't have enough data of, on its age, but it's evident that history needs to be rewritten yet again. Because these guys are like millions and millions. We're talking like 50 million years old. They've been frozen under the ice and sealed in stone. And by continental drift, they're just talking about their found Sahara Desert. Because over the ages, things have moved. <laughs> they're talking about the body. Bob. Poor Bob. We knew knew him well. Well enough to take shit off, to you, off your of corpse. <laughs> Mrs. Tulip. His name was Robert so Paulson. His back. name was Robert Paulson. His name was Robert Paulson. <laughs> Actually, I think he's right. Yeah. No, it's Goose. Goose the cat. Okay, that takes us back out. Did and he this... likes head scratches. <laughs> do we have a key to this place now? We do. Okay, so now we're in Biolab 2. And things are getting really, really... Look at it. If I take a step forward, something's going to happen. Watch. Nope. Why does it look like that in there, though? Is it the spores? Oh, oh there oh. it is. Ooh, can you it's touch a, it? It's just a miniature version of the big ones. It's that pre-humanoid thing. Flashback. Oh, spirit catchers. Interesting. I believe no more can we harbor ourselves on the safest shores, for there are things that We're cannot be undone. <laughs> it's like that in every game. I think you should retire to your room. Left here? I, I am going to think a bit more. Can you keep it? Oh. Okay, so what do we got here? Oh, look, it's an overworld uh, of what it used to look like before everything moved, I guess. I like the music. Very dramatic. He definitely knew a lot more than what he was saying. Gartha. So this is like, remember how he was talking about when they started doing the um, sessions? How they had shared memories? Uh -huh. I think he's remembering Dr. Faust now. Ah. This is why Dr. Faust went, took all those people on that excavation. He's kind of superstitious. Did you notice that? Candles everywhere, the little uh, spirit catchers in the window. It's got pots full of something. Uh, he got himself a skull. A couple of them. What is in the cauldron? Ashes. Ashes of who? Oh, God, we see that freaking picture That's in every poppy. game. Yeah, very popular picture. We even saw it in the council. Mm hmm. <laughs> Beans. <laughs> I want to make sure we don't miss anything. Mm. Lots of beans. I, I got a feeling when I walk back out this door, we're going to be back in the uh, lab. I don't feel like we did, so this whole thing was just so we'd see that and look at these. Surely there's more. I don't want to miss out on any achievements. Oh, we don't have any inventory right now. Lick it already, Jilted said. <laughs> oh! Hey, a hole in the floor. Whoop. Yeah, we don't. That thumping noise you hear is me trying to uh, yeah. use my inventory. Suddenly, I feel layers of fearish. 
Yeah, me too. <laughs> Definitely got a lot of darkness within. Okay. Make sure we don't miss anything in here. Okay. Wow. A very old vampire thing or a sadomasochist sex orgy between some guys. Okay, we can't go that way at all. So I guess we're stuck to this one direction. Man, who else is enjoying the ambiance though, man? Psychological thrillers are my favorite. A coffin? That's a coffin. Yep. Hmm. I hear electrical noises behind that door. Trees have a lot of... Wow, she's well endowed. Oh, never mind. <laughs> That's her knees sticking no. up. No. And Mr. Ed... The floors need some help. It's locked. Oh, Jesus locked. Christ. Is Everything's there... locked. Locked, locked. Everything's locked. Hmm. Homoerotica. Oh, that's locked. terrible. Tip over a candle, go all Notre Dame on them. <laughs> Too soon, man. That's too soon. It's locked. <laughs> Dormant Tulip typed it in too soon. <laughs> Anybody else hearing the spooky noises? Yep. And okay. I'm seeing something coming at you. All right. Gosh. Come on. I got a dirty look for that too. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wow. Well, that was uneventful. You didn't really accomplish anything in that room, did you? Uh, first conservative event and brief visit to the past. I'm at a complete loss of words. Simple remarks are insufficient to express my feelings right now. Was it a premonition or a vision? How should I interpret all of this? I don't know exactly. Suddenly, I find myself drifting into a familiar room. A room that was long buried in my graveyard of memories. Scribed on epitaphs of long lost past. Okay. Hey, creaky floorboards are awesome. They give you ambiance. Alright, so that was the bio lab too. Uh, but we're, we are back here, so let's check stuff out right quick before we bail out. Oh, I'm so glad I did. The Vache, the legendary drink of the oldest myths. I heard about the elusive mixture decades ago when I was writing my thesis on Salva Divornim, uh, Divinorum. Divinorum? Also known as the Sage of the Diviners, an ethnogenic plant used mostly in religious shamanic ceremonies. For centuries, no one could gather any information about it other than its legendary mystic psychoactive properties. In some sources, it was a drink of the gods, while in others, a key for opening gates to the places that lay beyond the conventional human senses. The sole bridge to be passed in order to leave the bodily restrictions of the flesh. Most scholars would kill even for a hint about one of its lost ingredients. And he knows all about it. That's something I was uh, on the lookout throughout my career. A new formula is forming in my mind. I feel like there's a chance for me to produce, if not the original, then a variant of the legendary mixture de Verche with the new clues I've uncovered during my work here. Okay. Well, if he offers us a drink at some point, we're going to say no. Hello! Gollum? Somewhat humanoid in form, these sculptures uh, initially remind me as a terracotta army sculptures carved 
as a funerary art buried with the first emperor of China. We know about that. To protect him in the afterlife. But judging by the writings on some of the bas reliefs, now we believe that this wooden puppets or, or golems were used to carry out some task for their masters. That's probably important. Probably. Just like the Egyptian uh, you bought you s- bought to. I don't know, man. Funerary figurines, which are the servants of the owner in the hereafter. We saw the golems in several sizes. And it was terrifying to see the huge ones. Yeah, the uh, the book, the way they described them. H.P. Lovecraft, there's just nobody like him. I mean, he can... He is to horror what Robert Frost was to nature. There are lots of gateways leading to the dark and damp corridors that were mostly carved in the days past. Some of them were covered by strange ivy-like plants swaying back and forth despite there being no external force to move them. They seem to come levels below, creeping through the crevices in the rock walls to stop probable superstitious. What are you doing here? Amongst the crew, Dr. Barlow, or botany expert, personally started to examine them. Wow. Yeah, we usually try to warn you if it's going to be a bit more adult, mature material, but... I don't think this has been that bad. No. It, we it, were it, looking it, at one, though. Oh, my God. It would have been in NC-17. I wanted to play it so bad. The concept of the game is awesome. But it starts off with the backside of a complete nude woman and goes downhill from there. <laughs> the first submarine explorations revealed when it was lying underwater caves. I can't wait to get to the submarine. The most striking features were the structures with openings in them, like doors, windows. They made us wonder whether these caverns had been carved underwater or if they had been submerged at a later date and thus had become redundant to those that were carved. Okay. Yeah, Mrs. Dorma said they took the comments off the rails for a bit. <laughs> Okay, nothing. What was the year on that? In case there's a test later, 1892. Okay. Uh, pronunciations of the Zeises. And that's all we get with that. Anything in the letters? No? Any secrets? What about underneath? Anything? No? I think we're done. No secrets here. Oh. Oh, we found a tool, dear. Yay. Okay. Uh, what kind of tool? Uh, you're a tool. <laughs> you're Where's <a> tool. these? <laughs> All right, Sheik. A lot of maps. A lot of maps. I'm just making sure I touch them all. Older city <laughs> ruins. <laughs> What's up with all the oscilloscopes? <laughs> ah, Mountains of Madness. Okay, so this is the Mountains of Madness. This is where they actually uh, found all the stuff, or he found all the stuff, and he wanted to go investigate. And that's why we're here. Okay, we're done. Should we touch the plant again? No. Does anybody feel like we haven't been through the rooms pretty good? Can we Can we go now? Dear, what do you think? Yep. I think we've covered everything pretty thoroughly. Yeah, Jilted said that was a massager if ever he saw one. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's going to be important at some point. <laughs> Mrs. Tulip, you're going to get us in trouble again. <laughs> Front row of the class. Uh, so, Link Elevator, anybody? Sure. I, th- I think we're done here. Let's one more. La- oh, look, Glosso Pateras. Yeah, Somebody I didn't- tells me at some point you're gonna have to go back to that for a save spot or something, maybe. All right. Ooh, that sounds fun. Why are you walking away? Right. I don't know if you can hear me, but I am trying to search it. It is the only way. 
Okay, we're done. Hey, hey, can That's you hear you me? That's how forward the story. Damn it! Who was he? All right. I'm gonna go with that's Dr. Faust. All right, guys, it's elevator time. Yay! And we've already looked at this. Let's look at it again. Uh, up or down? Didn't we already go? No, that was the floor elevator. Oh. No. Um. Let's go up. Achievement. Cool. Musical interlude by Africa. So up. My all-time favorite song. Iron Aura, you're just a s ten <laughs> seconds too late, my friend. Musical interlude of Africa by Toto. No, but it needs to be the Muzak version. It can't be the actual song by Toto. It's got to be some. I like the Leo version. Gimpy. I like the Leo's version. Electronics. The heavy metal version. Wow, look at this place. The atmosphere is amazing. Man, we're getting all the tools. You're a tool. You're a tool. You're a tool. <laughs> and Iron said down, but he was too late. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what's it? Sorry. Show? We'll do that next time. <laughs> <laughs> Guitar version. Look at this. Oh, man. Really. Is there a pyramid on the wall? Yeah, there was. It's like uh, the Illuminati confirmed. We're going to keep going toward this thing. Hi. Hey, this is amazing. Most of the ground level structures have been crumbled and rounded from untold eons of savage storms and thus weathered into shapeless ruins. Ruins. However, both the Thank you for the lecture, dog. The cavern systems below are clearly I'm displayed in the middle of a horror game. reliefs. Can get on with it. The most striking features depicted in this grand panorama, I believe, are the tall, occasional towering spires, which somehow resemble a lighthouse. Hmm. They all seem like focusing a light beam towards a colossal structure in the center. That's going to hmm. be important. Could there be some sort <coughs> of religious meaning behind this? Or simply something that has a more practical use. I'm not sure. Let's see what your face looks like. Are they talking about the Eye of Sauron? Yeah. The <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we've gone all um, Lord of the Rings on the game. <laughs> Dr. Faust remarks about the boss reliefs in the tower-like structure. This is amazing. Most of the ground-level structures have been crumbled and rounded. Okay, so this is what he just said. Hey, this is amazing. All right. All hail the big pointy right. star for a pointy. <laughs> I think we're going to have to duplicate this at some point. I bet money. I got $50 that says that we're going to have to do this at some point. Like really cool. All right, they, everybody's gonna say, "Don't go into the light." You're totally gonna go into the light. Uh, can we touch it? All hail the mythical maths of the Masons. <laughs> I believe they actually located a giant underground pyramid in Antarctica a couple of years ago. This is no coincidence. That's cool. Mythical maths of the Masons. Mystical maths of the Masons. Oh, mystical maths of the Masons. Okay. Uh, uh, careful. Careful of the whole. We like the Masons. They do good work. Uh, right, you couldn't go any further outside? Nah. -uh. Oh, that's a shame. It wouldn't let me interact it with nothing. Let you interact with it's anything. coming. It's coming from up there. It's going through this ball. You can't touch. The and ball. it's shooting forward, and it won't <laughs> let me touch the ball. I got. I got a couple of tools.
I was thinking maybe you'd stick <laughs> You're that. chanting. It's hard to get that through. The <laughs> text sounds neat. It tells me at some point you're going to come back there, though. Okay, I think we need to go down first. Oh, footprints. Your footprints, maybe. Make sure we didn't miss nothing in here along the walls. Okay. Maybe we should have gone down first. Going down. To iron was right. Hey, I wasn't saying he was wrong. <laughs> he was just a little slow. So like this was saying. Can't see it now. Are we back on the normal floor? Um, do we recognize this? Yes. yes. So we need to go down again. Okay, here we go. <laughs> and Iron said, no, I wasn't. Na 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 The stream has 10 second delay, so there. I already said that. He said he wasn't slow. I said the same thing. Hey, we got an axe. And a piece of paper. All right. There is some strange vegetation filling most of the hallways. Well, now we know why we have the axe. As amazing as it is deadly, there's a hidden world right beneath the uh, whatever base. And even <laughs> though I was prepared to find such a place, it was way different. <coughs> Sorry, peeps. It was way different than imagining alone. We tried to cut our way through the plant re uh, reactor with a highly poisonous gas. Okay, so maybe we won't use the axe on the plants. Coming from its glowing buds, I issued a warning to stop anyone going near those plants they came across in any of the caverns. I also noticed a strange phenomenon after I spent some time examining a sample from the plant. It occurred... I'm going to set up. Ah! After I spent some time examining a sample of the plant, it occurred to me that individual vines grow and shrink in length on demand. Wow, they're living. They're sentient beings. It also seems as though it can move, even though there are no currents, and this movement seems to regular to be caused by natural factors. This may sound strange, but I have the notion that it's conscious, at least on some level. That's at least on some level. Weird. So we have plants. I guess that... Hey, anyone here? Dr. James? Dr. Morgan? Anybody? I'm loving this world, guys. I'm absolutely loving this world. <laughs> Where are they? Did you for say God's buds sake? or buds? Buds. <laughs> I've uh, let me scoot over here. There. Um, been looking for a game like this for a long time. This is true, dormant. Sip, but you are made of air, so the axe may not be a bad idea. <laughs> uh, speaking of axes, can you equip it? How do you equip? Uh, equip. C. They gave me a weapon. I better What's keep there it. What's on the wall? Oh, that's one of the lights. There. I don't like it being in my face. Yeah, I'm going to back away from there slowly. <laughs> this must be the plants. I bet you that's where we got to go next. But we got to... Oh, can we turn this light? Maybe the light will burn through it. Just... Maybe. We have that tool. I'm still trying to figure out how to use it. Maybe we can hack through this. No. Okay. I 
still think we need to turn that light toward that plant. Mm. Uh, am I missing something here? That's where we came in, right? The link elevator? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We weren't able to do anything upstairs. Did you look up? See if there's any. We missed something somewhere. We definitely missed something. Oh, here. There we go. What is that doing? Is that making a light move? I'm trying to turn it over to here. Yep, it's totally making that light move. Hey, looky who had the big brain. Cool. I totally figured it out. puzzle that didn't take me half an hour. Yeah. Whoa. We're not touching it. I'm not going to lick it. Don't suggest it. Okay, the Bosch reliefs. So this is the, the things they were talking about. Most of them, uh, based on the page we read, were disintegrated or really worn out, but some of these look pristine. Wow, that's cool. Look at the ones up there. Hmm. Look like they're holding the roof up. God, I'm loving this game so much. I'm going to be sad when it's over. Pick at it. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Use your axe. You know, there's... there's You can't. Aw. Yeah. Besides that, you don't want to use your axe. Remember what happened last time? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, but uh, last time I felt this... <laughs> I love atmospheric, uh, psychological terror games. They're so much better than I just I think the other game I, s I was telling you about we ought to give it a, a serious look and just do it later at night. Oh, the the sex one? Yeah. Okay, we're going to do a sex terror game right after this one. No! <laughs> I told him it was pretty questionable. It's a horror game, but it's it starts off Lust, with a bunch of nudity. Lust of Darkness, I think. Lust of Darkness. Y'all can look it up in Steam. Y'all tell me. Y'all go look in Steam. Lust of Darkness. Oh, actually, you can just Google it. Or Google it. Tell yeah. me if you think we should put that on this channel. Because I try to keep this family friendly. Even with a little bit of Ish. language that I use. And I know I use a little bit of language. I get scared. Oh, what the yeah. fuck is and that? That one has good reviews. <laughs> Sorry. It has an interesting story. It's just that it is definitely very adult. Is that one of those golems? The meditative golem. Oh, uh, what was the game that you were playing that you had to put your fist in the plant? Oh yeah, I love that. That was that, so awesome. Yeah, that didn't. That wasn't very family friendly. After a while, that kind of that was family friendly. That was deteriorated into. Guys, could y'all imagine? <laughs> could you imagine coming into this? Like digging down below. Yeah, our faves are psychological horror too, and they're really hard to find good psychological horror. Yeah, because most of them are really bad. Yeah, they're either bad or they want to be survival horror. Okay. I looked at it too long. Don't look at it for yeah, too there long. There you go, you shook it off. What was that I've just seen? Let's do it again. I don't know, but I'm liking it. <laughs> let's let's uh, follow this. Let's get right up on uh, except it. Except for fisting a plant, it was family friendly game. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we made it into something it wasn't. It was a family friendly game. I can't remember what that game was, but it was awesome. It was a good game. Yeah. I think that was was that Soma. Might have been. Okay. Uh, okay. What is that? I'm going to go with the... It's a sacrificial altar. 
with lizards on it. And all the stuff comes out down here, maybe. I don't know, but the artist, I hope they made some money on this game. Soma. So we came in here. Oh, no, these are all the same things. Can you touch them? No. Okay. Unless you gotta put something on each one. Maybe we need to find some baby goats. Okay, so we came in over here. I think all these are pretty much the same things. Oh. <laughs> A spider with boobs. <laughs> Let's go down this way. Oh, Iron says, Sky, you entered a girl's room and played with her panties and bras for a few minutes. How is that family friendly? Still family friendly. Panty raid. How 80s of you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let's turn left. Even when she told you to stop it. He threw him on the bed as soon as she said stop it. I yeah, remember that I game. <laughs> Okay. Do those things go on those thingies that we're looking at? Okay. Let's see. We have something that looks like something. Something that looks like something. Something that looks like... Man. Different glyphs on them. Okay. We're going to have to match those up to something somewhere. Couldn't hardly make out what it was. So is that it? We're done? We're, we're, we're taking our sweet time getting through this game. I really don't want to rush through it anyway. All right. Knobs or buttons? It's Cuff a links. You're, you're, you're a knob. <laughs> Man, the atmosphere is just stinking amazing. Well, Iron, there's a difference Ooh. between adulthood and maturity. <laughs> to point that so out. if you don't have an axe, you can get one there. Uh, yeah. Are we gonna read this through this? Oh. Bad, bad design there, gamers. Or Paris, nothing prepares for it really believing. Maybe but those discoveries have also caused an uproar among the crew members whose assumptions indicate that the fate of the expedition will end in ruin. Some serious mental disorders are from the prime focus right now. Are the prime focus right now. As a temporary solution, we have prohibited this area to the rest of the members, for it seems most of us are not ready to comprehend such a thing. After surveying the flooded halls ahead with our basic Diving equipment. Oh, diving equipment. Submarine ahead. It was concluded that it would be better to divide the exploration team into two or more to carry out exploration more effectively. Accordingly, to the latest plan, we will send one or two teams with submarines to see if the route exists for us to continue into the depths of the submerged tunnels, and the rest will explore on land. Dr. Morgan C. Blake. Yeah, Iron said something here. I don't like it. <laughs> oh, a dingle hopper. Yeah, good call. Hmm. If I am not mistaken, this relief depicts that the overgrown floor we came across at the various points in the cavern uh, can be cleared away with an iridescent device, a tool or a talisman. Curiously, we still haven't been able to find the roots of those plants. They seem to seep out of these caverns by passing through crevices which look as if intentionally made for them. Hmm. <laughs> what other secrets might these silent halls conceal from us? I don't know. Whatever it was that killed you, because I got a feeling you're dead. All right, so uh, we got uh, thingamajiggers and the doohickeys. Let's. Uh... <laughs> oh, and uh, doohickeys and doocy hoops. And <laughs> All right, so See, the evolution of man. Don't but forget this dingle hoppers. Dingle hoppers. 
it's the evolution of man, but in the elders, the old things. I don't really want to go in any other areas right now. We've got a lot of... Oh, wow, that was cool. Look. He ran into a lantern. Oh, wow, look, you can be klutzy. Oh, so cool. No, honey, you don't understand what kind of, like, program that took to make that happen. Yes, sir. Flibbity gibbets. Flibbity gibbets. Yay, physics. <laughs> Game physics are awesome. I think so. My team will continue exploration through this gateway. Other expedition parties can commence when ready. So they went that way, but it collapsed behind them. Whoopsies. It's no longer a gateway. You guys are boned, man. Just boned. I know we're missing some stuff. We got to be. Looks like a giant, like a rib oh, cage. It's not a stargate. <laughs> Oh, look. Remember the other tree? God, could you imagine how old this tree is down here? Yeah. We're talking millions of years Should've old. Should have got an HP. Strangely carved niches all around here matches with what is written in the oldest parchment. I believe uncertainly that they represent a destination towards somewhere significant. Okay. So we have uh, that squiggly. Looks like kind of like a six tet. Squiggly. He's not here. We got squigglies. We got squiggly squigglies. <laughs> And more squigglies. Copy down the glyphs. Okay, so we've copied down the glyphs. I've seen a vision near the rock tablets in the place that looked somewhat like an ancient burial ground. There was a diagram consisting of several glyphs carved on a rock's polished surface, and one glyph in particular was mentioned by the silhouette that appeared in the vision. I've copied down the diagram and marked that glyph. Yet yeah, Dormant said the buttons you picked up. Yeah. Or Ip. Ip or up, one or the other. <laughs> I concur, but this is not the place nor time. We can't interact with that anymore. Bummer. But yes, I concur. Wait, what was inside that tree? Huh? Go back. Look, there's holes in the tree. There's something in the tree. Yeah, the boss reliefs. They're everywhere. It's very cool. It is. But we can interact with the... The mummy. Oh. Lick the wood. <laughs> uh oh, we found another friend. Hey, look. Hi, Matt. Real Matt, real Jin Matt. Look at what I found. And Jill to think she should be licking the wood. That's cool. Oh, do they have something to do with the light things? Ugh. What the? Uh, it don't even give me a chance to run. Here, I got my axe now. Stealing things from corpses again. Yep, that's what he does best. Can't chop it up. Uh, let's let's try to uh, see that. Iron, <laughs> I don't have friends. Okay, can't equip that. But we can't equip this. Okay. So we ha we found tools. Let's get out of the the rib bones. 
that you suggest that let's take one more last look in these Bosch reliefs. I don't think that there's anything in them, though. Okay. I just noticed there were a couple little statues in the other, so. Make sure we didn't miss nothing. Ooh! Good thing you looked. Mm hmm. Good call, dear. It's empty. But still. Can't see inside that one. Yeah, you're eating cereal, filling the void. Yeah, teenage boys. I like cereal, filling the void. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sound like he's taking I a really poop. Miss cereal. I miss cereal too. Yeah. I think we ought to just get a couple of boxes of cereal and pig out. <laughs> just go nuts. We haven't eaten any kind of trash in a long time unless you count water burger. Alright, we're outy. Um Oh, looky here. What is this? I heard that. Oh! Is that that symbol? <laughs> what does the axe have to do with it? No. Are you sure? Oh, what's it up there? I think we're going to figure out some way to get stand on that and open that. All right, we're looking for some controls down here somewhere. Ah, look. Dun, dun, dun. Hello, second player, Keith. How Hello, are you? second player. We're fine. We're playing a little HP. Lo oh, look what I found. I found something. Yay. All right. We're playing a little HP Lovecraft. A little HP Lovecraft, Lovecraft inspired horror. Yep. Uh, so remember those buttons that we found, peeps? Matt, what have you missed? A bunch. I don't know. We started at seven thirty. They've missed about two and a half hours. So. Yep. <laughs> uh, five pieces of stone with different glyphs on them. Yep. The buttons. Oh, the buttons. Do they match what you just saw on the ground back there? Any of them? Yes, one of them does. Yeah. So you're gonna have to correspond in there to what is actually out there. I think we need to correspond to this. Oh, that would be easier than running all over the place. Yes. So we need to start with the. Uh, yeah, it really is gorgeous, and it's amazing. It's a really small uh, indie, indie team. dev team of three guys out of a wave with three Turkey. dots. A wave with three dots in the bottom right. Who made this and got picked up by a bigger production company to actually publish uh, it for them. And they did awesome. The wave with three... Okay, these don't exactly match Cornarium. up. That one with the wave with three dots. Let's start with this one. It looks like a music note turned sideways with a long dash over it. Yeah, okay, we'll go with that. <laughs> Does the circle this mean one right you here. stepped on the right button? Oh, that's a good question, Jilton. It goes top center. Top center. Right? Yeah, top center. So this one right here is going to go right here. Nice. Okay, there's one that's got a little miniature sun on Iron it. Iron says it's the bottom. Oh, the sun. Bottom left. So the sun... Bottom left. What, he says that one goes in the bottom? Uh, that's what Iron said. But I'm going to stick with what I got for now. You have for now. Just in case. Yeah, this, this game has been absolutely amazing. I know. We love success stories like this. It's really cool. Okay, so uh, the one with like a double line on each side with three dots going out, it's going to go in the top right. I'm just going to do this one at a time. It's just so much easier. This one right here. Right there. Oh, I hear stuff I hear moving. stuff going on. I'm just going to guess these last two. Backwards. I think. Not 
Nothing? I don't hear nothing happening. Okay, so... Let's take these two. I'm Are pretty three? sure that that one's right. Let's get our book back out. That iron and matter already arguing. No, it goes there. No, it goes there. So the three dots <laughs> going down. Oh, try stepping on the button now, Dormant said. Okay. Let's yeah, go ahead and put them back where uh, you had them. Three dots with a hole. Three dots in the center top right. Okay. That brochure goes there. Okay, now go find the button to stand on again. Oh, look, 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 look. Oh. Remember that thing we found? Oh, yeah. Cool. Anything? I don't know. Yeah, where'd that button go? Uh, right here. No, we got buttons messed up, peeps. Hmm. I got a feeling that that's all we got to do to open that. It's a pressure plate. Mm -hmm. But we got to get this right first. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're screwed up over here. Um, I think we're pretty sure about these, these three, though, aren't we? Top, left, bottom, right. We may end up picking them all up again. Trillibots! Trillibots is in the house! Hey, Trilly! Alright! Hi, Trillibot, welcome! You hear all the noise? We got something right somewhere. Yay. But yeah, Trillibot, welcome! We got it! We got it! Good job, peeps! Thank you for your help. Wow, how awesome is this game, guys? This is built in Unreal Engine. Thank you so much for the biddies, Trilby. Yeah, you're awesome. You're awesome. We always know when she enters, she always comes in with 100 biddies. <laughs> she always. Gotta surprise us. Yeah. Spreads love. Um, I don't, I don't feel all that great that we covered that area in there very good, though. I think we missed some stuff. Go back then. You missed the dirty talk, Trillibites. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, Trilly. Thank you, Trilly. Yeah, we always enjoy having you. Yeah, I can't help it. Uh, get enough guys together, they're gonna start talking silly. God, yes, I can hear you. Finally. It seems the effect of the mixture starts to wear off. Frank, heed me carefully. Time is running out, so I must be brief. Where exactly are you? Dr. Faust, is that you? I'm inside the caves below the base. Where are you? <laughs> Iron. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> I cannot talk much. I know that you are having trouble remembering, but you must keep going. Use one of the submarines and follow the light. That's a good point, Dormant. Probably so. Come on, please. Where are you? Dormant. Damn it. The connection is lost. Alright, so we're done with the... Uh, it looks like we've he said I have to keep going. No. Why? We're not Where doing that we? yet. Uh, we got to go up in this and investigate that other spot. It is possible to assume that due to volcanic activities in the Earth's crust, the climate here is humid and temperature, but we do not know exactly whether this is the case. The theory somehow explains that the nature of the small scattered fragments of obsidian along with the cryptic stone wall that welcomes you uh, when entering via the round gate. 
As men of science, we cannot fully grasp most of the phenomena happening around us. No apparent sign has been left behind, indicating the true motives of these cave carvers of these inconceivably old caverns. We're talking about hundreds of millions of years old, not thousands. All I'm sure of is that this place holds something strange. Grasping the soul here firmly in both hands gives me a rudimentary sensation I cannot translate into words. Something I'm sure no other mortal man has hitherto, owl, hitherto, hitherto perceived. All right, uh, another note. Were those maze-like tunnels flooded at some point in time, or were they carved underwater? This was the main topic of debate at last night's meeting, and what Dr. Faust hinted at on various occasions, cited from a dark leather book, was too frightening. That was the Necronomicon, right? Yes. At least for the ones who could understand the underlying links. The megalithic statues, ornate standing stones, and the flat areas of polished rock we could see at some points made us think that this place could be a religious temple complex of some sort. We cannot imagine what it looked like in its former days. For now, it lies in ruins, bare and without any sign of underwater fauna or flora. Oh, good night, Syndicate. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, Syndicate, thank you so much, man. Oh, oh my God, it's another one. An inflatable 5K tomorrow. Wow. Enjoy. Enjoy. <laughs> hey, we found another flashlight. Oh, by the way, you're getting the chat's getting really behind. Adornment was uh, asking about at the two axes. Curious why you had two of them. Uh, Is it like a one-time use thing? No, not that. I, well, we don't know. Because everything never else, everything use. else in your inventory has been one-time use, like the key. Well, not the flashlight. Situation. Well, the other things you've collected that you've actually used, yeah. like interacted with, have been. One I use. don't know. And Iron Ore is getting exasperated. If he wants you to go to the sub. Mm mm. Mrs. Tulip works with a Dr. Faust. No way he would be doing this. Totally throws her off. <laughs> He'd be more concerned with what's for lunch. <laughs> okay, this guy's got a wing on one side. We found another miniature statue. Hi, CJ. Yep, so we, he's got three of them over here, in fact. Yep, definitely not going to the sub. In fact, uh, I'm going the opposite direction of the sub. Because before we came down here, there was a whole other area we did not even look at. And CJ, welcome. What the hell was that? We have a whole other area we did not even look at. CJ, this is HP Lovecraft's game. Uh, Canarium. And it's very spooky. Very spooky. Very spooky. Very spooky. Okay. Spooky. So if we'd have gotten the sub, we wouldn't have got to see any of this. <laughs> Iron Arse is... Oh, look! All right, then die then. <laughs> well, you wouldn't have been able to see what I look like. Look, it's a mirror. I know. I already had the patience of a... Teenager. Piss ant. <laughs> wow. Go get caught by a scary monster. All right, when you get done... I'm going to click on this. Ready? Three, two, one. That dragon lizard. Oh. So, what was that little shine off his forehead? Does that mean he's gifted? For a moment, I thought my reflection in the mirror was about to Lick talk it. to me. <laughs> You want him to lick everything in the game, Mrs. Tulip. I'm dun, beginning dun, to get dun, concerned. Oh, he does look like Spock. Nanu, nanu. Leonard Nimoy. Oh, that was more <laughs> Crom Williams. Nanu, nanu. Okay. Oh, they're saying it looks like Leonard Nimoy. I, I, I got it. I got it. She thought it was going to suck you up like in the Matrix. Too. I was waiting for something bad to happen to me. Mork for Mork. Nanu, nanu. Mork. Nanu, nanu. Robin Williams. Okay, maybe it's time to go. To oh, we got another area. Hold on. <laughs> well, oh. we appreciate you sticking it out, Iron. You're doing a great job. He said, I'm, I'm patient, I just don't like horror games too well. <laughs> oh. 
Well, they, this is my favorite genre. If I could get by with it, He'd do this I would stream time. this three days a week. Yeah. But we have too many Minecraft servers that need attention. Yeah. Plus Ark, which we haven't done in weeks. Yeah, which our dinos are probably dead by now. <laughs> yeah. I'd be very sad because I've got some really nice Yeah, this dinos. one hasn't been too bad at all. This is much more puzzle-oriented. There hasn't been very many puzzles. It's been atmosphere-oriented. Yeah, Jilted's right. There aren't enough horror games. There's not enough good horror games to stream. Oh, there's enough horror games, but yeah, most of them are terrible. Yeah, we found some, but... Do you remember the one that I started raging at the end, saying, is that it? Is that really done? There's a lot of those. <laughs> a whole lot of those. Yeah. Look at all the bass reliefs and the holes and stuff up in here. You haven't played a horror game in forever? Oh, there's so much fun. So is there anything over here? No? There's something in that tree. Stone right there. Can you touch it? Right there. In the bottom. Good call, dear. You're welcome. Oh, he's got the hole in his hand. Got the eye in the hand. Skyrim. Skyrim. The small version of the gigantic <laughs> statue. Oh, that's right. This is the gigantic statue, remember? Uh, it is beautifully carved out of metal. I can't identify. Additionally, it looks like it was made true to the minute details of the bigger one. Oh, it's very Skyrim-esque. Gotcha. Uh, we got a trophy. Thank you, dear. You're welcome, dear. See, yes, it does have a Skyrim-esque feel to it. I love Skyrim. I do, too. I you still haven't, haven't done a complete playthrough on that. Mm -mm. Not on stream. I, I've played it, I played it through crap. three times. Okay, let's uh, get on a... I guess we're done to the beautiful area. Vibrani Vibranium? Terry the Pterodactyl. Do we want to enter? Because this is going to be it. I know that there's some areas that we've probably missed. Go for it. All right, let's do it. Doing. Uh, yes. Right. Trophies. Trophies. the biddies doing it. Well, thank you, Syndicate, for leaving the stream up. We appreciate that. Oh, lurking. Have a good evening. We like our have a lurks. great weekend. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, we Enjoy that We don't have run. that set up, and we've got to figure out how to get that set up. What's where you that? can figure out how long you people can put in that watch time. We command. can totally do that. Yeah, we totally need to do that. Wow, look but at this. But we started at 730, so. You know what this count. reminds me of? Got a little Bioshock-ish. Dolphine. Highly maneuverable, compact exploration submarine. You know what? I don't think I need all that. Look around. Up, down. Left, right. Ascend, descend. Okay, we got this. Yeah, we totally got this. So how long before the giant octopus comes and wraps itself around the front of your window? How come we're not... What am I supposed to be doing here? I have no idea where I'm going, though. Oh, I see lights. Is that a light? Looks like it. Back, 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 back. Yeah, definitely kind of Bioshock feeling. Follow the light. Okay. Wow, these are kind of tight fitting. Good God, where did you get your submarine driver's license? Hey, shush. Captain Ahab over here. I think I'm doing pretty good. I haven't hit nothing yet. They call me Ishmael. I haven't hit nothing. Where's the next slide at? Okay. That's all I'm doing is going toward the light. <laughs> this second player key says you got this. I see another light up high. I don't know. I'm getting a little queasy just watching them. Getting seasick. <laughs> Cracker Jack box. Okay. We didn't, definitely didn't want to go toward that one. Oh, yeah. They're messing with me now. 
Look what that little holder put me in. Let's go down a little bit more. Up, 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 up. Floating light. Isn't that rocking it, man? That's, that's cool. Welcome back, Iron. Welcome back. And you're in you black. got you're here just in time to see me my superb. Superb. <laughs> above superb submarine driving skills. Oh, we've gotta hit the hole. We gotta take our long thing and put it in that round thing. <laughs> <laughs> what were we talking about earlier? Family friendly dude. Yeah, the the big anus underwater. Yeah, we got this. Okay, hurry back, racing freak. Moving to the bedroom. You're going to erase our memories. <laughs> wow, y'all catching what we're going, what we're driving by? This stuff is like millions and millions of years old. Bad joke, Sky. Hey, what the hell did we hit? A rock. The bottom. I was following the lights. You're not supposed to drive directly into the light. <laughs> You're supposed to drive near the light. Go past the light. I've never seen a submarine that was equipped with a bicycle bell before. It's interesting. <laughs> I guess it's possible to die in this game, huh? Are you gonna die? into a couple of more rocks he might we'll figure it out oh yeah, look your windshield's not looking so good just saying needs an ooga horn <laughs> yeah ooga ooga Wow, that was kind of an abrupt turn. And this is why I drive most of the time. Why do I feel like uh, we just came through that one? <laughs> Did we do a U-turn somehow? Well, those oh. don't look familiar. Tree roots. You think about her putting one of those horns on her Fiat? <laughs> I think the roots just grabbed us, dear. Ah, there he is. I knew there'd have to be an octopus somewhere in this. Look along our windshield. Okay, we got the auto save. Your poor little car. So if something does happen to us, we don't have to start over. We'll start right there. We'll start with the octopus sighting. Let's see how fast this thing will go. I'm curious. Let's get this show on the road. So far, you haven't killed us yet, so that's good. Oh, it's coming. <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> you can feel it. This would be... Not my doings. Oh, no. 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 <laughs> he came back to give you a hug. Did you die? I don't know. Uh, your screen's loading now and loading and loading. And loading. Uh, what am I doings? I can't got no control over that octopusy. <laughs> Yay. Don't go into the light. 
<laughs> this is scary because Sky's driving. He's a bad driver. <laughs> Dormant. What? Hey, I was doing pretty dang good. Okay, we're in the private rooms. That's what I... Okay. So did we get a new room we can open? Locked. We've already been in Blake's room, haven't we? Yeah. Can I Are go in my room? Are we starting the whole thing over? No. Surely Locked. not. Is Faust's room open now? Wait. Hey. Who's that? That's Faust. Dr. Faust's memory. He's got the shakes. Too much caffeine. Yeah. Definitely. I know. So invasive. He just... It's stuck. Needs key. What do you mean it's stuck? The, the king, king in yellow. yellow. The mm. king in yellow. The okay. irony. The irony. Oh, because Matt's in the chat? <laughs> <laughs> That's, yeah, no, a single person is asked why his sign is a different color on the wall of death. Oh, because <laughs> uh, he's yellow. He combat logged. Sure, it's not a seizure. Hey, may need his meds. <laughs> okay, it's got that symbol on it, but we can't read it or nothing. Uh, it's not the witching hour. It's just eleven ten. Uh, what else we got going on? Oh. We got to find a key. This place is a mess. Oh, can you play the uh, The uns... I, the cult. It's something about cult. I don't know. Interesting way to spell cult. It's a different language. It's Old English. Wow. That's annoying. A phonograph cylinder of the song, uh, Chocone and D Minor by J.S. Bach. A trophy item. I need a phonograph cylinder. Well, we had one we found in the other room. I don't think we ever played it. Yay. All right, here we go. The power of this place, I believe, is too strong for the mind and the body. At least it disorients the feelings, body functions. For some reason, I feel like we've already read this. Bodily functions, and even more so the powers of judgment, nevertheless, I didn't expect or even prepare for what happened during the session we held two days ago. Frank was not able to rise from the deep. Still, what strikes me the most is the contorted look and his speech. Oh, they're talking about me. This is me. Contorted look in his speech when he came back to life. It was only subtle, but I was able to detect Doubtlessly, a revulsion of feeling was apparent in his countenance. There was something unnatural, something bizarre behind his marbled eyes. It seemed that he was he saw the deepest time frame we had been searching for a long time. I cannot be sure about that for I can't read slow man. For his consciousness may have been <laughs> hindering the flow of communication, but it's still highly possible. His speech, even though it was almost indiscernible, Seemed awkward and foreign. The pronunciation was uh, barbarously alien. And his diction had been curiously stilted quality. So he's talking in sharp tones. And Are you finding anything fun on that website, dear? Nope. <laughs> she's, tired of the, she's tired of the game already. She's over here browsing the <laughs> internet. God. Beyond any doubt, the speaker was not Frank. Good night, Iron. Good night, Iron. Okay, I, Keith, thank you. Glad you could come by, buddy. I tried to speak to him, but he seemed unaware of me, kept looking at a certain point on the wall in front. What I discerned from his speech was a long dead language that only a few people know today, myself included. Ah, it's that decisis thing. So I was the sole person who understood what he said, and I will keep it that way until everything is settled. The past two nights, Frank has woken up screaming, covered in a cold sweat, unable to remember the contents of his dreams. The things that caused him to scream intensely enough to uh, render Mr. Barlow speechless. I will consult PK about this event as soon as possible. Warren Ross. So they're talking about me. Hmm. Let's kill the drawer. We've got to be able to open this box. 
Oh, look at what we found. And the big drawer. I want to open the big drawer on the bottom. Is, That's weird. Is that not a thing? Oh, it's not a drawer. Never mind. Alright. Fine, fine. Two days ago, Frank most probably could have reached the intended time period. Among all the Canarianoffs, he is the most, how should I say it, gifted. But unfortunately, his heart ceased beating all of a sudden. So I died. This was most unfortunate, because when he came back, he doesn't remember anything specific. I believe there is no other way than increasing the intake dosage of the mixture. Very dangerous, but this seems the only way to raise the time limit and awareness in the mm. sessions. So that's why you had a head in a Instapod? I don't know. Because they were trying to preserve you? There's the old... Old world, I guess. <laughs> oh, hi, Doji. <laughs> 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 There's got to be a way to open that. All right. You guys keep remind me of that box, okay? We're going to go out here and look through the rest of this. Here's my room. It's, I still can't get my own. Can't get my own room. Okay, the dog's got to go out. Let's go back in MC Blake. Oh, it's another box. Oh. It's a red book. Did you guys learn? There's like this box, man. This box. Oh, wow. Okay, that's... Generated voices outputted as speakers. Incoming power needs to be regulated. Main feed input, backside. Auditory and visual data are fed to the main system by the primary filters. Is it really possible to feed the machine with an actual brain? Ancient sources speak too secretly about this. Based on the writings of R. Bacon and Wolfgang von Keplin, I will try to improve the machine. Very interesting. And a drawing of the eyeball with some math. We don't do math. All right. Is there anything else? Are we good in here? So Blake was like a mega scientist, man. Hidden plants. Okay, this, this stuff we have looked at in red. Side to side, front, back, side. <laughs> so that's the uh, 3.8. Let's remember the 3.8. That might be important. But the rest of this. Yeah, we, we found one of these heads earlier and we actually talked to it and it answered questions. It was pretty amazing. Oh, look, we found another one, dear. Yeah, but this one's not talking. He's not hooked up to power. He's still got the third eye, though. Everybody clap your hands, crisscross. Crisscross. Side to side, up, down. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I miss something fun. Yes. I guess I said something that spurred a song. They you don't singing. remember crisscross? Yes, very well. That was our area. One of them here. passed away, too. Oh. Was it Chris or was it Cross? I can't remember. Oh, well. Passed away. Everybody wanted well, to wear their blue jeans backwards. Okay, I lost my inventory. This box is... <laughs> up, up, down, down, I left, don't want to go right. out that door yet. <laughs> left, right. B-A, B-A, select, start. <laughs> we'll make you jump, jump. <laughs> Contra, right? Got a big fat X on that box. Wait a minute. We've already been in this box. Yeah. We found a key in it. Konami code worked in right? all their games. Yes, it did. Dear. Yes. Can get you to focus. I'm focusing. Didn't we already open this box? It had a key in it. Right? Back mm -hmm. the first time we came through here? Yeah. Is that the reason why it's got the X on it now? 
Probably. Because it's the only thing keeping us from leaving is me not being able to open that box. That means what? You can't touch that. Can't touch that. Right, I think we're out. I think we're done. Oh, we, the we can never come back here again, anymore. though. Never say never. Cool. Cool. <laughs> Oh, now you're just screwing around. All right, let's go. <laughs> Where am I? God, not this again. Uh, how did I get here? Oh, that's right. We came here via submarine. When? Oh, wow. Wow, you really need to lay off this stuff. I know, man. I'm drinking too much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Batman. Na 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 Batman. Definitely a hell of a bat cave. Batman's my favorite. Yeah, there ain't no way in hell he beat Superman though. Superman could go into outer space and hit him with a laser and kill him. Please. Batman was jealous and he cheated. Hey, no. Yeah. Adam West was the best We're not Batman about, ever. Lord, that's got nothing to do with this conversation. Fight me, Bo. Fight me. <laughs> yes, Adam West, Batman was. And the only reason why we like him because he was because he was car, uh, in um, Family Guy. By the way, we're only an hour and a half away from May the Fourth be with you. To other expedition parties. Is there anyone who can read me? He was the best One cat person man. is dead. Ah! And two up. others have been injured by the partial ice cave collapse. There is something here with us. Do not come through our expedition route. Yes. I repeat, do not come through our expedition route. Yes, I read you. This is Frank. For God's sake, what happened? And please, tell me where I can find you. Frank, do not stray from your path. We have come across something... terrible. Do I don't know where the expedition route is. Quit repeating route, that no shit. What happened. <laughs> I agree with Mrs. Tula, thousand percent. Even it my Keaton like Batman is better than Superman. Yes. Netherworld. Superman would have wrecked all of them. Energy. An energy that is stored in curious <laughs> oh, stonework, similar yes. to an obelisk, I mean, with crystals on top. And they are able to clear away some of the strange plants. Okay, so the obelisk with Christian. Dr. Uh, Faust? Dr. Faust? Oh, come on, so not the again. And crystal, or crystals this is nonsense. Key? I cannot yeah. understand what is going on. Do I have any? Maybe you have to start collecting some with your axe, the pick side of your axe. I don't know. But there's way too many places to go here. We're going to start by going forward. <laughs> Superman has two weaknesses, weak. kryptonite and gravity. Okay. Finally, a purpose for our axe. They said, "Do not come by the expedition route." I'm gonna go with that. That was the expedition route because there's like just easy stairs going up here. Mm -hmm. We had to break our way into the other one. <laughs> As I predicted, a race. Reptilian in physiology lived inside these ruins after the original builders. The elder things left the area after some unknown cataclysmic event, now lost in an archaic and lost chapter of Earth's history. 
This relief depicts some reptilian creatures treating an elder thing with reverence. And the other relief with four tall figures, I believe symbolizes empty vessels. Huh. Golems. Golems. Yep. I dare We've you We've seen the of same them. vessel figures depicted as assuming different roles several times in most of the murals or reliefs we've come across so far. <laughs> now it's lizard people. Ooh, Jilted said it reminds me of the aliens versus predator. <laughs> <laughs> um, so happy. I've read quite a few books that have had golems of different kinds okay. in them. I dare you to hit one. No. <laughs> That one at least has two wings. This obelisk is dead. Out. It's not working. He's dead. Dead. Can we say dead again? Okay. <laughs> say on. dead one more time. I can't move it. The ice on the track is obstructing the movement. Smashy, smashy with the axie axie. Uh, it won't. I can't budge it. There we go. Gollum's so this is the obelisk they were talking about, obviously. Now we've gone from it's dead to... Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I bet he says hmm. Alright, well, whatever this is done... Yeah, we can't go through that stuff. I believe I'm on a place high enough for me to see a wide vista before me. But the snowstorm is completely covering the view. Alright. Can you move that light out there where you can see it? No. I think for some reason we needed to do that, but we didn't know we needed to do that. <laughs> Make you go harumph. <laughs> Alright, so we got that done. I saw another cave over here. Let's. Or is this where we came in? I think this is where we came in, isn't it? Oh, uh, Dormant's curious to know what yeah, they all do in. when aligned. I know, right? Well, remember we saw um, that Vistage or the mural where it had all the lights come in from different areas? I think we're doing that without knowing we're doing it. I'm just guessing. Okay, where's the place? Is this the one that we broke into? It is. But again, before I go in there, I want to make sure we're done with this area. That looks like a dwarf I've ever seen one. Oh! Oh, oh God, that made me jump. <laughs> Dang it. Nah, 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 Leonard Nimoy again. Oh, yeah, I'm so glad we didn't leave yet. Did anybody else hear a level up sound? Did you hear a level up sound? No. Okay. Jilted heard a level up sound. Ooh. All right. <laughs> Would you say an educated guess? All right. I guess we're going in here. Wow, this world is just amazing. Oh, we got a crystal. I found an ornamental piece. Are we done? Looks like it. Alright, so... So what do you do with that? I don't know. Just hearing things again? <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Alright, there we go. Remember how it cleared out the plants? Hmm. 
We used the light to clear out the plants in that one place, if you remember. Right. Now if you go back to the place that you just got all those lit up and use that? Will it do uh, no, special? that's where you charge it up. Oh. <laughs> you lick it. Lick it. <laughs> She'll just want you to lick something. Okay. <laughs> you gotta be fast. I guess that was a one time use thing. Looks like it. Uh. Another headache. Ah, uh, visions from time past. Some of those lizard people. Dang it all to dang it. <laughs> okay, Jilted. The same set of symbols we've seen in strangely carved niches all around here matches with what is written in the oldest parchment. I believe uncertainly Ooh, that they represent a destination towards somewhere significant. Okay, so the top left corner, if I see this right. Journal has been updated. I don't remember this symbol. You can look in your journal now. It says the journal was updated, so... Oh. You might have put a note in there you need. I think it's what he just read. Same set of symbols we've seen strangely carved niches all uh, around. Okay. Yeah. Darn it. The symbol on this stone is illegible. There's no glyph on this stone. Mm. So now you need but to this more one he... Okay. Maybe. I don't oh. know. I saw more on this side. God, I hope this isn't a puzzle. Oh, you the symbol know it on is. This stone is illegible. There's no glyph on this stone. The symbol on this stone is All illegible. right, so we're looking for stone. Yeah, I saw the lightning out there, racing freak. Ready for more rain. Our front yard's going to be a swimming pool with all the rain. Can you actually move the stones around? I'm trying. Hmm. It's weird. There's no glyph okay, on this well, stone. Okay, well, these have... It won't let me take anything. But we see glyphs. Oh god, this is one of those puzzles. <laughs> Everybody put on your Simple thinking caps. This stone is illegible. Alright, we gotta do something somewhere else first. <laughs> Your backyard's a kiddie pool. That's where they came from. Well, that's the only place you can go over here, is that one. Everything else, oh wow. It's a bug light. It's a billion year old bug light. Okay, so that's like the only place zapper? we can go. Uh, let's go down here. I mean, I gotta put my my thinking cap on. Have we covered every other area out here? We came in on that side. Wow. Back to Grave <laughs> Grave Robin. One, two. Man, this world is pretty crazy. 
Okay, so what do you think we're so the navigational device? All right, let's pull the lever and see what happens. Yeah, but what did it do? Hey, look, it's a Minecraft shell. Nautilus Anonymous. shell. Looks like something's missing. Ah! Let me go get my, uh... My thingy. My thingamajigger. Whatchamacallit. Doohickey. Uh, before we take this and close this area back off with the plants, or did I go the wrong way? Yep, there it is. Let's go down there and take one more last look at these orange stones. If anybody's got anything, any suggestions in the chat? Doing that good on the secrets. <laughs> Matt, that, that's kind of what I was thinking. So maybe we need to take our stone and let the plants close back up. And go back over here. Smart thinking. Yeah, it's, I went back over there to get this for this thing right here. But I was thinking maybe the orange things first. But let's try it in reverse order. The crystal I have doesn't fit here. Ah, uh, crap. Uh -oh. Ah, maybe it goes on the other end. No, no, nope, can't touch that. <laughs> really? I know. I've set myself up. So we got to find another stone, and this one will stay over there. Nightbot. It does that every time we do that. A oh, racing freak said. Yeah, you it have up. to type it in. Yeah, we tend to say that a lot. Yeah, we do. What can we say? We were MC oh. fans back in the day. Oh. All right. So whatever it is. Progress. No, it's Maybe. not. We just went back and redid what we already did. Oh. All right, let's look around in the rest of the place. We're missing something somewhere. That's what happens. Is when there you... a hall you missed by chance, Storm is saying? Well, yeah, all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> There's always that. So this is where we got the original one from, right here. So there's got to be another little nook hidden somewhere with another one. Not a... Oh, that's not annoying. There we go. I thought maybe we could break a piece. 
make your own. Mm hmm. Can't go in there. Can you use your axe on that. Space. And that, that looks like a door, too. Oh, that's that mirror. Oh, yeah. And we've been over here. Okay, let's keep let's go back here. That's where we came from. Mm -hmm. We need to do a cotton eye Joe thing too. <laughs> and this is where we started. This is where we got our headache. That's how we charged up everything. That ominous noise, man. He said, what about charging the crystal and putting it back in the thing you found it in? That's a good thought. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, is this a new hallway? Ooh, you can ah. break through that. Ah. This stonework seems weak. Let's see what we find behind here, and we'll probably take your advice. Maybe at the altar that we passed a couple of times. An ornamental object with metallic part engraved with a sandstone rock depicting an elder thing figure in the center. Oh, that is an elder thing in the center, isn't it? Hmm. Take. We're definitely taking it. Oh, it's a trophy. Ooh. It's a Cthulhu. Not allowed to be here. A spoopy. <laughs> it's a lot of heads. Mushrooms. Okay. Cool, but didn't give us anything that I think is no. useful. Okay. There's Is there anything anywhere we can stick a disc? <laughs> Nothing there. Wow, those things make a noise. Yeah, they do. Interesting. Don't go in that mirror again. It makes me jump. Stop! <laughs> We're not supposed to know you're here. You're hiding from them. <laughs> Too funny. Y'all are funny. All right. We already know where that goes. Them. I don't think we've missed anything at this point. I think because both of those hallways go to the same place. All right. Let's take his advice. Let's grab that. Uh, how far over here was it? Was this it? Yeah, this is it right here. Oh, nope, we're done here. <laughs> Trilobites playing musical chairs except with streams. I've done that before. It's hard Many to do, times, but, <laughs> but then you uh, don't know what's going on in any of them. But we do, we do the same thing. All right, so we got a little pedestal here of nothing. We have this crystal that we took from there. You can't put it back. Let's fully charge it back up. Can I just hold on to it and go through those weeds? Let me try. Or 
Or does it work that way? Kind of sounds like it's trying to work. It's working, but got it slow. Yeah. We need to put it on that one thing and be done with it. Okay, let's, let's take it in here. Let's see if we can solve this. This is what's holding us up now. We have a coin and this thing. The symbol on this stone is illegible. Hmm. There's no glyph on this stone. I think we have stone. to click every one of these suckers. The symbol on this stone is illegible. We can't take it. Hmm. There's no glyph on this stone. The symbol yeah. on this stone is illegible. But the ones that we do can go down to. Oh, examine. I don't remember this symbol. That glyph doesn't ring any bells. Oh, are we looking for glyphs that we remember? Symbol on this yeah, stone I guess is so. illegible. Hmm. This symbol is exactly the same with the one I saw in the vision about repetition of specific symbols within the caverns below the base. So you can take it because you recognize it. Now just click on each one of them until <laughs> we recognize them all. Oh, um, now that the game is over. All right, this is over. Okay, go to that. The one. puzzle's over. Puzzle's over. All right, so we need to take this to once somewhere else. Mm. So the where we just took it from. Holy specific memory. No kidding. <laughs> right here. All right. Matt, you're being a dork. There. <laughs> Wow, it went dead. All right, so that. Examine. Um. We gotta find the hole that it goes in a bit. Are we supposed to just take it? Oh, I know where it's going. Duh. It's going to be the thing that's going to go in that thing. Oh, that's very specific. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Y'all know what he's talking about. Where the sex tit thing was. Come on. Sex tit what? Come on. Come on. Let me out. <laughs> Uh, where was it now? That's what you need for the casket room, he said. Yeah, exactly, the sixth hit. See, I got, I got a, a bona fide photographic memory. There you go. Now let's pull the lever and put it back up. My memory's failing me. Where was that lever? <laughs> okay, photographic memory person. Yeah, where was that lever? <laughs> there we go. Star chart. How oh, pretty. Told you it was a sextet. Oh. And there's that symbol. Uh, okay, so there it is. A Z with a slash and a slash. And a weird Z. Everybody got that? I tried placing a reddish crystal in this this something 
fit it perfectly. As I rotated the device to its original position, using the control handle, the glyph projected onto the wall. All right, so uh, can you rotate obviously that's right going to be important somewhere. No, I think we're done. But yeah, the star charts. That's pretty. It's like the planetarium. Very much so. All right. So we're done with the orange room. We're done with this room, I guess. Why do you keep stepping in stuff that sloshes? That's weird. I know, really. <laughs> All right. Now maybe back to where the mirror was or the... Um, like that altar looking thing with that creepy thing. Uh, the room, the biggest room that has the, that you can't see beyond. I think it, the, that's the final room. That's where you're eventually gonna go back oh, to. Oh, okay. One more time. Oh. Hello, how are you? He's a good looking guy. Bit narcissistic, but okay. <laughs> I think this, this is what you were talking about, right, dear? Yeah. I keep thinking that that's going to be your. Fun. Well, last time this wasn't a doorway. I believe I will pass high enough for you to see a white vista before me. Now we've already done. The puzzle was to get that rotated. Yeah, but it keeps saying, you keep showing there's something out there that you can't quite see, and that you can't see because of the snowstorm. Yeah, but he did the same thing in the other room. Um, we, this is the, that's the second or third one we've been in. Okay. I'm hearing some stuff move around. Yep. Yeah, we've been in here before. It's where we got the. That's where we got the thingy, the trophy. Uh, what was in here? I don't remember. That's the way out. That's the submarine's way out. Okay. We might need to go get back in the submarine now. I don't think we found anything in this area, did we? We've looked. And this is just that thing. And this is the side passage that connects up here and goes this way. There's nothing up in here. Let's look around in here again. Make sure nothing's changed. This sexy looking thing. Oh, is that new? No, not new. That's where the bug zapper was. All right, dear. I'm lost. I got. I know where. I I've got this whole area memorized now, pretty much. No idea where to go next. We've covered this whole map. Sub time. Racing freak says it's sub time. Yeah, I I feel like we've done everything we can do here. Well, there's a little cut through. Wonder what the purpose is of this place. I mean, seriously, why? I don't know. One more quick look. One more quick look. We melted a bunch of ice around here. 
I guess it was strictly for that projecting. Now, in that room that you ended up getting the one orange crystal, I just keep feeling like there's more. We just left. I was just back in there again while and you were just, scrubbing over. Yeah, nothing. Right. Seems like there should be more to that. Uh, isn't there times to lie awake at night thinking about the deepest thought from the mythological stance of the game? Do you know what ethological means? I'm just just throwing a question out there. Ethological yeah. or ecological? Nah, that's got to do with the environment. Huh? Ethological uh, would be ethnically responsible. Etho. Etho. Oh, esological. Etho. Etho. Ethnically. Ethological. As in the ethnological, yes. Okay. Like an ethnically. Yeah. The ethics of the. Uh... Alright. We're doing good so far, peeps. We're just kind of at a standstill for a second. I think uh, what we need to do is go back to the sub area. I think we're done. My cat is snoring. <laughs> Snorting. Oh, the sub is gone, guys. There is there is no sub. What, dear? Every chance I get, Matt. <laughs> yeah, I still say there's something else we're missing back in that area where you went in. You know, you put up the thing to kill off the vine and go in there and... So All right. Some well, there. I mean, that's the only room that's left. But we'll yeah. go back one more time. Let's go take a quick peek. I don't know. It just seemed like there should have been more to that. You, more you keep saying that. So let's just go do it. Use the flashlight in that dark room at the end with the big zap with the bug zapper. I <laughs> thought I noticed something. Dormant said. Is that where we're going? That's where we're going. Yeah. That's where you said we need to go. Yeah, I just feel like there's got to be more. Well, we didn't have the flashlight turned on, so. Bug zapper. Oh, weak wall. Yeah, it's a weak wall. Ah, oh, cool. This stonework call, seems dormant. weak. Well, you kept saying stuff too, dear. You can give yourself... Well, I didn't know. I didn't think about that room. I just felt like there should have been more to that whole area than there was. This wall seems weak. I think I can tear it down. Okay. Well, freaking do what I'm telling you to do. <laughs> I don't want to. Well, good eye. Why didn't you say it when we were in here three times? Somebody take a moment to go Google. I looked at that wall three different times and didn't see that, so that is a good eye. Yeah, I didn't see it either. I just... Ooh. <gasps> People. Nobody's ever been in here in the history of man. Oh, I want This is why we die. Wow, look at that. Cool. A feathered mask I took from the head of one of the skeletons sitting silently in the eternal resting place. Signs of color that can be seen on now solidified feathers made me think how flamboyant it might have once been. Jilted. Yay, dead people. <laughs> We're totally taking that dude. You're just going to have to get over it. Dharma says he just caught it the last time you came in there. 
That's why well, you good eye, flashlight. buddy. Good eye. Absolutely. Okay, we already got trophy. Time to move on. That's why you don't rush. Alright, let's go this way. Let's go. Run. Run. Uh, We're running. Okay. We're running. Why are we running? Because there's a freaking wraith behind us. Well, that look like now it's in front of us. Now it's black. We're just going to stay in here. That's a black hole. Running like your feet are stuck in mud, though. Yeah, no kidding. Anyway, we're just going to meet it head on. Hello. Come on. Saw you go in here. You ain't fooling nobody, Wraith. Where are you? He's mad because I took his mask. No, you kind of owed me that mask if you think about it, Ghost. Going? Oh, we left our crystal back there. Do we need our crystal? Doubt it. I hope not. Yeah, yeah the Wraith just, Wraith just wants a hug. Do we need to go get our crystal before we get too far? Nope. Any more plants this way? There's a lot of coffins. Big coffins. They were tall. Well, these are, yeah. Well, they are alien. Hey, who's that? Oh. I think we need, I think we need oh. a crystal. Oh. Oh, yep. Totally pissed off that I had his mask. Oh, oh God. What was that all about? A, a vision, perhaps? Oh, I think somehow it has something to do with the intense Nibbly headaches. bits. <laughs> Chilton. <laughs> Origins of Slender Man. Oh, Blood? my nose. I got a bloody nose. He bloodied my nose. These ivy-like plants okay, are blocking the way. Need your ivy. I'm sorry I took your. F so gross. I'm sorry I took your feather thing. We're going to get my crystal. I knew I needed my crystal. I kind of thought that when I came up here and I saw a charger right here. See that? That's a charger. Yes, sir. And another charger. And another charger. Yeah, blip. Totally needed this. Don't even think about it. Just get out of my way. I didn't even have it out. There we go. Right, let's go. Dude, they want to make sure we had that crystal, buddy. That didn't take long. We got in a hurry and mistakes were made. Move out of my way. Go. <laughs> such a patient person. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. That's gross. Yep. You guys are gross. Even after death, you should have better hygiene. Okay. We're going outside. Very nice. Alright, nothing. Come on. Get, get. 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 Hey! Uh. Uh, Did my uh, thing? Uh, I think my uh, battery ran out. Oh, no. My battery ran oh. out. I didn't know that, you know, man, that didn't have much of a charge in it. 
Oh god, where are you gonna go to? First death. <laughs> nope, second. First. You died. <gasps> you really did die. Yeah. Oh no. It's our first death. I don't know when you thought we died before then. I thought you had some. Nope. Oh my god. You Offici- always want to argue one with officially. <laughs> well, we'd, mar- oh, we'd marked earlier. Do you have to go back and get that orange crystal and everything? I don't know. Look at the sick. Okay, no, we don't. No, we're good. Okay. This won't take but a second. All right, so charge your crystals, peeps. We had our first official death. Well, we thought you died in the submarine. I didn't. We did. That was a vision. Uh Uh-oh. Okay. It's not charged. Nope. Or at least not. Oh, okay. I guess it's enough. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> Come on. Charge. Keep that bad boy charged up. Oh. He goes dead in a hurry. Oh, now this we got to redo again. Mm. That's fine. It won't take long. This stone yes, yes, seems it does. Weak. So this wall mm-hmm. seems weak. I think I can tear it down. I think you can too. I, that's not what I picked. <laughs> I picked that. The game is is awesome. I'm loving everything about the game. But some of the game mechanics are kind of eh. Right, let's go. Charge your crystal. Yes, yes, dear. Marty on it. Pull it out here. See what I mean? <laughs> now, you it. saw me. Just see, it's picked. There we go. Oh, it's looking kind of weak. Oh, so it starts turning. Red, Red you're in trouble. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we get to... Oh, shut up. Just, just. Oh, I need to go get my uh, trophy. We're going to stand here under this light. Alright, are we done with that cinematic? Good. Uh, I came through that door, and I turned. I went this way. And... Got our trophy. Let's go. Good night, racing freak. Good night, racing freak. Have a good night, You're man. I know you got a busy morning. week. Morning. It's sad. Appreciate you spending so much time with us, Absolutely. brother. Absolutely. We appreciate all okay. you do. We're charged. Let's run. We're running. We're running. Bring out that crystal. Oh, we got to do this again. Oh, after that, you got to go back and charge again. Uh, 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 uh. Character design's pretty damn cool. Okay, go charge your crystal. I am there. Oh, oh God. What was that all about? A, a vision, perhaps? perhaps. Oh, I think somehow it has something yeah, to do with Yeah, we're going to miss you doing techniques. that, too. Oh. Very much so. And I'm also sad you're going to miss the end of this game, because uh, we're, we should be getting pretty Blood. close. Yeah, I think so. There's not been a whole lot of puzzles. That kind of makes my day. Let's let it charge all the way up. Does it ever stop? Uh, I don't know. Doesn't look like it. Okay, that's fine. Move, move. Move, 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 move. Okay. We made it that time. There's some more chargers. Do you think you're going to need them? 
Oh, another one of those symbols up there, too. You know, we got that silver coin. That has the holes on the corners, too. I still don't know what we're doing with that silver coin. We still have it, right? No, when did we, when did we use that silver coin? Or was that a... I think that was a trophy. A trophy? Yeah. God, this looks familiar. Ooh. Come on, move, move. Move, 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 move. Awesome! Charge. We'll charge again after we leave. We've learned our lesson. Oh, it's a ball. Um... Start drawing a line. Uh, so you gotta do some hieroglyphs. Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. What was that thing on the wall? This. We keep coming to this. Uh, so that, that, that. Um, the Z and the slashes. Yep, Dormant, I'm on it, buddy. Appreciate you remembering that, too. That. Okay, so far. Oh, nope. I never said I was an artist, man. Never. Nobody in my life has ever said I could draw. Straight across, over, and then down. And then bam, bam. This is going to be the hardest part of this puzzle ever for me. Can you pause my video next time I bring the book up? Can I do what? Here. I'm going to do this. Oh, here. I see what you're saying. I'm going to bring the book up. Okay. I've got the book up right now. So when you get right here, just pause the... Uh... Man, where did you rewind back to the beginning of the video? The star, I think it's the Z with the slashes. I really do. I'm waiting on my wife to. What's taking so long? What are you doing, honey? Bring up my stream. What are you doing? Back now. Oh, you can't. I can't. Because you waited, because you were on that thing and not pausing that thing. All right, here. Get away. I don't know what you look. Just get rid of that. It's about to be a very embarrassing moment on the stream. Okay. Go ahead. No, I can't bring it up. No, what you need to do is pause it now. Okay. Right. That's what I was asking you to do. Gotcha. Not try to Google it. So we need to go straight. I'm thinking that this is it. But you see, I, it does go from thick to thin. And then it goes here. And then down. And then here. And I'm thinking here. But I do think you've got to do the... Even the design itself. Because it does get thicker and thinner through here. I just... Problem is, I suck at using a mouse. And then, and I'm too slow at it. Right? <laughs> I, 
My mouse usage sucks. I know this. But that was right because it didn't go away when I let go. You just got to be quick about it. Mm -hmm. No. Oh, I meant wrong one, right? Yeah. Here. And then down. And then down. <laughs> you got to draw a straight line. This is ridiculous, people. No. Nope. <sighs> Straight across down to the second down to the left. Digital. Oh, diagonal to the very bottom arm right. Truly said. No. Nope. No. Nope. You said you're doing thick to thin. So look at that. Uh, bottom line on the bottom. Oh, yeah, but that means you gotta be fast with that one for it not to be. We know it's not right because No, it means you need to go from bottom to top, go down to up. Oh, I got you. I got you. If what you were saying is true. Well, I mean, it's the drawing there. Yep. Yay. There you go. Well, I had the concept right. I just couldn't. Put it in the. I knew there had to be a purpose. We had to do that whole freaking puzzle to get that drawing in our book. Oh, we're going down. We're going down. Ancient elevator. Like, down, down. We're yelling timber. <laughs> Crazy. I know, man. Jilta, was that amazing or what, man? Uh, basically, that's taken from the Japanese and their kana. Uh, their stroke order and the direction. Very, very particular. Very particular. Sheik said it's thundering out. It's thundering and lightning at our house. Outside. Holy crap. Didn't we just do all this? How deep did we go? For ancient mankind, it's really cool they got bug zappers. Actually, this wasn't mankind. This is aliens. Hey, you got another achievement. Catacombs. All right. I don't think we're going to get the good ending. I think we missed a lot of stuff. I think we've missed a lot of stuff. I mean, we've only got two secrets. That's it. Out of this whole thing, we've only got two secrets. Yep, we're about to get hammered with the storm rolling in. I know it's been brewing for a while. As long as we don't get hail or tornadoes, I'm okay with the rain. I mean, it wasn't from the lack of trying, you know what I mean? We, we, we try to check every nook and cranny. Yeah. But I, I do think we... Well, and when you're doing it on stream, you, it you makes don't a big want to dilly-dally too much. Right. We There were some areas that we seriously rushed through that I didn't want to. Oh, cool. Lizard. Man, the artists are just... They're amazing. This is... This whole game is amazing. You wouldn't think it was a indie. And the puzzles have been awesome. Mm -hmm. Not too hard. Okay, so we have straight... Uh, another wall we can bust through. Yeah. I can see light coming through a crack in the wall. The other side is probably hollow. I wonder how many of these we ran past. Did you know there was that one that was behind uh, kept saying I thought was... You found a secret. And there, you were just talking about how you didn't have enough secrets. Uh, 
Okay, you can't go down in the water. I was going to try. God, they're, they're tall. Okay. I heard something moving. Oh. Another Ooh. mask. Another mask. A beautifully ornate metallic mask with a reptilian face carved on it. It does not indicate anything about the purpose it served in its day. Okay, well, it's time to meet another wraith. Oh, pretty shiny. Okay, let's see what's down this one. Death. Okay, nothing. I want to be like y'all. Thank you for the polite laugh, dear. Okay. Um, we need to go that way eventually. Mm -hmm. King coming. Something shiny in the water. Can you pick it up? Mm -mm. Oh, wow. It's a frog man. He doesn't look the same as the others. Mm -mm. It's probably why he's up here in a place of honor. Oh, those are masks. I'm going to go with that. I like the way they lit the play. Oh, wow. That's going to go down and to the left. Let's check out this hallway right quick. This obelisk is dead. Oh, oh time to, to time to light up another one. Holy bejesus, man. This place is freaking huge. Very ominous. Look for holes. There we go. Yep, I knew that was going to happen. It happened right before each one of those. <laughs> yes, it is depicted here. Our gateway out of this world. These reliefs clearly portray ancient Conarium, the thing I have been searching for my whole life. As much as I can understand, that one depicts yep. a seemingly dead city Straight as from an the book. living organism with lots of mummified bodies connected to the device. Incredible. Uh, uh, and the other one depicts an ancient Conarium which is connected to another one, most probably outside of this planet or maybe out of this dimension. Oh my, this is just marvelous. I don't know about you guys, but this is blowing me away, man. This amazing. Another star chart. This time they just made it easy. Cool. You didn't even have to break that one loose. No. Uh -uh.
All right, got another one lit up. That was quick and easy. Oh, 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 I can't bear the pain anymore. Oh. Yep, we're getting close to the end now. I don't even know which way that other place was now. I think that's where we came in, ain't it? Yep, that's where we came in. I want to make sure we didn't miss any little thingamajiggers. Alright, I think we're outie. Mr. Um, why do you sound like uh, not Smithers? <laughs> Mr. Smithers. Hi, Mythical. How are you? Oh, I just now... Hey, Mythical. How you doing, buddy? Oh, oh there it is. Ugh. Oh, shh! Did you just die? No, I didn't die. Oh. He's okay. seen something in the past. Okay. Every time that happens, he's seeing something from, like, ancient past years and years ago. Uh, it's just creepy. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm doing good. I'm at the end of another of the um, horror games. Nah, I'm getting sleepy. And she's getting sleepy. <laughs> she's ready for the be over. I'm trying to run through this now instead of... No, you're doing fine. Oh. Oh. We just did this. You get to do it again. I take it they don't want me to go that way. There. Thought I'd help him out a little bit. Are we not supposed to go that way yet? Is that the problem there? Uh, These aren't deaths. Or he's doing flashbacks, but usually he just does it once. Okay, so my brain won't let me go that way yet. Weird, weird. Very weird. Oh yeah, the storm's getting ready to blow in here too. I keep seeing the lightning through the window. Okay, so we've lit up that vis. Oh my God, that's a big one. That was our thunder. <laughs> it made the house rattle. Yeah, the whole house is shaking. Yeah. Okay, so that's how um, we and did that. And the dogs on me. And the dog will be under the desk shortly. Oh, it's already there. <laughs> Okay, that's where that crap. Wait a minute, that's the way out. Mm -hmm. So we can't leave. You can never leave. We can never leave. Okay, that's where we did the thing. <laughs> where we did the thing. Yeah, it's the where, thing this is where we did the thing, thing to the thing. thing. Unless we're supposed to go through that light now. Hey, we're supposed to go through this one. Nope. High enough Vista. You guys have been following this game know how ridiculous that is, right? We're hundreds of feet under the planet's surface, but yet he's high enough to see a Vista. Like, just shut up, man. You saw the journey to the center of the Earth, didn't you? I did. It's possible. Here we are again. Or is this a different one? Nope, same oh. one. Oh. Run. <laughs> Help wake these uh, uh, uh Dizzy up. Ah, uh, shut up. You act like I owe you money or something. He 
see Trillabites is waking you up with yeah, some bitties. I'm awake. I'm awake. Thank you. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. we got to figure out what to do here. You can't go that way. We have decided that. They're not going to let us go that way. Quit with the noise effects already. <laughs> we broke in through a secret wall to get in there. Mm-hmm. If you go this way and then turn left, you're going back into that other area. That area. If you go this way, uh, it kind of curves you back around into that area that we're not allowed to go yet. And it's another cut through. Wait. See? Can't go there. Weird. What about going down to the middle? Any ideas, guys? There's got to be a, like a secret weak wall somewhere that we need to break through. Yeah, Torment is just saying, use your flashlight and look for more walls. And did I try coffee? No, I, I actually want to sleep some tonight. <laughs> if I drink coffee now, I'll be awake all night. Which I generally am, anyway, for the most part. Because I will probably head over to feed dinos in Ark or play on the hardcore server after this. Uh, maybe we need flashlights. Maybe that. Oh, what about the crystal? We haven't tried the crystal before going in that hallway. Yeah. Only 30 more minutes and it'll be May the 4th be with you. May the 4th be with you. That's right. Woohoo! Back on your left, Dormant said. Type that like a while though. Old Eve Online, yeah. Old Eve Online friends were playing Sea of Thieves. I heard that the Microsoft store was offering uh, Sea of Thieves for a dollar if you buy it through a game, game pass. Yeah, Sea of Thieves. That's we we own cool. that one, but yeah. Well, Sea of Thieves. When Even they with the first updates. brought it out, it was a huge disappointment because it was a real pretty game with. Nothing it was a pretty do. game with nothing to do except for drink and vomit on each other. Yep, a dollar for three months. That <clears> that's really cool. Yeah, I was watching Slip Gator, and he was talking about it. And he said it was worth every penny that he paid for. Yeah, it. the whole the whole <laughs> dollar. I don't know how to take that. <laughs> they all come back to the same spot <clears throat> here. It's more of just hanging out with some old friends. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you need to charge that sucker. Yeah, but where? There's only one place I know to charge it. Up here where all the wind noise is. run really really fast do you think that that will get us through that area mm, maybe I don't think so oh there's a weak wall where right there oh no it's just a body it's a Never body mind. oh no time was wasted sorry If this don't work, we'll try the flashlight. Uh, well, that didn't work. Uh, We're going to keep backing up this time. Uh, 
Run! <laughs> We've never tried to escape before. <laughs> I think the game will let you do it. Maybe if we run around this circle, we can run back through that hallway while he's chasing me. I mean, there is no stamina. Maybe we gave him the slip. Why am I getting slower? Game, don't be messing with me. The game's trolling you. Oh, I did it right. You have to run. Oh, oh. oh you gotta be freaking kidding me. Did he kill you? Nope, I made it through. Wow, that was so freaking scary. All these must be the products of my disordered imagination. <laughs> Nothing more. Jesus Christ. Oh, big old kiss. No kidding. But I made it. I made it. The thing was, was to get away from it, lead it around so it couldn't get you. And go for a little run in the catacombs. Right, let's get that out of my face. Let's get it in my face. <laughs> You're gonna need These that. plants will kill us. Uh, another charger. Right there. Yeah, it wouldn't hurt. Don't we need to go back and check out that other area, though? Yeah, but I mean, just Obviously, that's where we've got to go, but... There's generally hidden goodies up in here. This looks very familiar. It does look very familiar. It is an indie game. Oh yeah, we made it out, dear. That's why it looks familiar. Uh -huh. Yeah. Remember I told you we needed to get back out? Uh -huh. Yeah. That's oh, what. okay. Gotcha. Now we need to go to an area we haven't been to before. That would be right here. We saved this for last. Oh my god, this place is so freaking awesome. Oh! That was interesting. What did that I didn't know you could do that. You can make it pulsate. Are these statues? I'm gonna go with yes. Ooh, look up there. Mr. Squidly Bodilly spitting. We gotta be at the end of the game. These guys are in prayer. Oh, look, it's an older one or an elder it's the beast moth. or the. The the inter no, it's yeah. The picture you were looking a moth at the beginning of the game. Y yeah, yeah. That's the moth. But uh, yes, ma'am. I'm just, but I, it's an elder thing. Gotcha. Bow before me. I am your god. This game is so freaking spoopy. It's beautiful. What the hell we're doing? Stand on that disc, maybe, or go. Oh, way, looky here. There is space behind him. Ah, oh, you try to trick me. That place was amazing, and I bet you there's at least one secret hidden in there. I don't know if anybody reads this, or if there is anyone still alive In game music. <laughs> I, I've lost everybody who was on my search party. I am alone afraid. and very great show. <laughs> alone and afraid. 
even from the out-of-place echoes of my own footsteps that are reverberating along these halls of ages long silence. It is hard to tell if I am alive anymore. Really? Those visions, sounds, the, the devilish scenes described in the reliefs I come across every uh, now and then. <sighs> we were not meant to be here. No, we weren't meant Dr. to be Faust, here. Are you there? Answer me, please. He gone, Jim. He dead. He dead, Jim. And that thing goes. Okay. Nope, can't go in there. Oh, this reminds me of the end of Call of Cthulhu right here, doesn't it? Uh-huh. Very much so, toward the end. And the dark darkness within or dark within, whatever the hell it was. Bells? Can we ring the bells? Can I have a bell? What a bell. Uh, ring those. There, there's bells. Ah. Hey, you can ring it. I know, I know, I know. I'm, I'm moving. <laughs> no, so we'll come back out and turn right. Got to go up here and see what this is. Sing very nice. Wow, the shit around here is just getting older and older and older. Hey, looky. Oh, we got the sacrificial knife. Definitely a sacrificial knife. Pretty. An ornate sacrificial dagger, wholly <laughs> intact and still amazingly sharp, even after all these years of desolation. Elaborate carvings on the curious metallic surface, signifying a, reptil a reptilian nature. Cool. Now we can kill ourselves. All right. Uh, That's not right. Hello. Um. Oh yeah, I remember that show. Uh, Eddie Murphy, back in the day, The Golden Child. I I I I want the knife. <laughs> yeah. Old old. The little reference. prayer wheels. I I I. Golden Child, man, that movie was awesome. A little kid and they were so cute. Yeah. All right. Yeah, this is just so much like uh, the Call of Cthulhu, even though this game's much older. Uh, oh, it used to be one of Trilobite's uh, favorite movies. Run away. PhD graphics. Yeah, run away. You run away. You run away. We just go. Yeah, we're we're about we're, we're about end. we're at the end of the game. <laughs> we're hoping. The game's supposed to take four to five hours. I know it usually takes me six, so we like to goof off too much. How are you feeling, PhD? I bet she's feeling better because he said he'd be 100% better tomorrow. We're, uh, and it is tomorrow for him. Okay, crab just got weird. Should we keep pushing forward into the weirdness? Oh, I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, that is awesome. You're working yourself too hard. Yep. I picked on him there for a while. I figured he's going to make himself yeah, sick. Oh, too. wow. 
<laughs> well, this changed. Sure, weird is what we do. I believe no more can we harbor ourselves. It's the beginning Since of the game right here. For, there are Remember things walked up the that cannot be undone. Let's make sure we don't last minute uh, trophies or objectives or anything. Where'd you get back over there? Uh, well, the game's over. I'm going to be sad. <laughs> but PhD, we welcome you to the stream. Uh, yes, this sir. is very much HP Lovecraft. That whole part right here was very much like Call of Cthulhu. Uh, uh, but this says this makes her want to play Skyrim, the art in it. Anyway, so I guess we'll walk up here and talk to this guy. Huh? But yeah, um, this is based on uh, at the Ma mountains of madness. They so just push him in or something. Did he have a mask on or something? Don't know. Sure, that's not the end of the game. Loading, loading, loading. <gasps> Flashback. <laughs> Remember, I was very gifted. This is a bit like Telltale Heart. Yeah, Kirkus. Yeah, he could say it. No. Oh, cool. Another very mirror. Creepy. Huh. It was. Was that a sheer delusion? Another achievement. Having hyped my knowledge of the arcane arts, I find myself contemplating the subject of universals, whether definitions exist in the nature of things or mere conceptions, illusory, and perhaps a sheer product of human language. Our means of receiving impressions are absurdly few, and our notions of surrounding objects infinitely narrow. We see things only as we are constructed to see them. Very true. And can gain no idea of their absolute nature. So what lies beyond the woven limits of the flesh we've been trapped in? And is it really possible to pass beyond it at least once? What we do know of the world and the universe around us, for the last 10 years of my rough life, I've lived with the undulating echoes of those scorching questions that have rendered me a ghost amongst the flocks. But yesterday I finally got some answers. During the last sessions, session, Frank and I managed to get the printer to work, and even though the results are blurry, we have the first empirical proof of what we saw out there. The, this game picked up right where the book left off. And I guess everything came back around because this is how the game started, mm -hmm. except we were on the outpost. I'm assuming I, yep, I no longer have any of my inventory. I don't even know why I'm bothered looking through here. All right, Dr. Faust's office. We need to be cautious not to let anyone else see this grand collection. It could be extremely dangerous for both of us. I see heads in a box over there. Right. Let's run through here real quick. What do we got? Oh. Deliberately preserved heads from Mesopotamian marshlands. Such cultivated minds kept in permanence by getting dried under the scorching sun with methods now lost to us. As well as the sun, they were believed to be symbols of knowledge. Stitch his eyes and his mouth shut. I like that one. That's cool. So 13, 14, 15. I guess I should be looking at those numbers. 16. A stuffed subadult Nile crocodile. One of the oldest creatures still living on the face of the earth. All right, we're 
getting stuff put into our... That's a painting I'm not familiar with. Have you seen that one before, dear? Uh-uh. One of the less gruesome ones we've seen. <laughs> yeah. Can you do anything with that? No. All right. Exhibit 7. A sacrifice ritual mask from Middle Africa. A medicine man mask from Northwest Africa. So that was number three, number seven. All right, so we need to find some more stuffs. Galactus candles. Is dormant around to make another uh, Notre Dame joke? <laughs> I know. Hmm. Looks like a preparation for a long trip. We've already played with the camera and the binoculars and all that. And we've seen that picture before. Yes, we have. It's a PhD party. <laughs> she said, I'm still here. <laughs> what time is it now? Oh, and it's that still was ten the ten. wife that made that joke, not him. <laughs> oh. oh, here's some more. This relic is from Madagascar. I have two versions, but this one is extremely rare. It is called Ur Hanaldi. Nobody knows exactly what it means, but from its symbolic depiction of a dark sphere inside a light one, it is thought that it could mean the underworld. This must be the less impressive one. Oscar De La Croix, I think you're right, PhD. Good call. This is exactly the same room I've been in, in one of my visions. All right. Old friend, what you've told me about the shared nature of the experience of the Canarium provides me, uh, provides maybe think about your necromatic means of data inquiry. I'm sure you'll remember what I told you about why certain corpses never decay, but rest firm and fat in their tombs for a thousand years. I believe with some help from a certain acquaintance, I can provide you with such specimens. This will be beneficial for both of us, I believe. Eagerly awaiting your answer, H. Warren. Nothing else. Oh, we found an urn. Nothing? Really? Somebody's ashes. Oh, we've seen that one a bunch. The council went over that with great detail. No books. No books. A penguin. Penguins are evil. <laughs> Emperor penguin, a creature native to the Antarctica. All right, let's take it. Oh, it's a trophy. Very nice. Okay. Uh, musical instrument. A native drum from the Asmat people of New Guinea. Their creation myth says... Fumeripits made the first carvings of men and women. By beating on this drum, Fumeripits caused the figures to dance, bringing them to life. So he was trying all kinds of things to be Frankenstein. According to legend, this very djembe belonged to a learned drummer from Senegal who can speak with the dead by rip. I'm pretty sure we looked at all this. I know we've looked at all this. 
Make sure nothing's changed. Oh, calendar. Oh, uh, with some specific dates from 1949. Looks like the 2nd, 6th, and 13th were very important. Uh, okay, yeah, we've, we've been in this room. We did this in a vision. So I guess our next step is down this hallway. We're still missing a couple of pieces. Number six. Mask of an all-powerful moon goddess esteemed by an eastern island tribe, now lost in time. It is from the private collection of the late famous hermit, Klaus von Herdeth. Don't ask me how I get it. I have my ways. Mm, that's why you're going to prison. All right. Elusive mask from the submerged parts of Kerguelen Islands. Alien. A cryptic mask with an untraced origin. Um, I'd say Area 51. <laughs> Just guessing. This is called the Mask Great of the game. Beholder. A pygmy? Pygmy in New Guinea? Skulls from New <laughs> Guinea that are be- Good guess. I heard you open or close or something. Looks like something's missing here. I'll be back. Oh. I need a phonograph cylinder. Uh-uh. I ain't doing it. Okay. <laughs> how, <laughs> I've been reading all night. How we, can we comprehend exactly how much time has passed since the erection? Ah, erection. Get it? Uh, the earliest ziggurats of Samaria. What can we know about the time where Sphinx still standing on the Giza Plateau? They only justify the sheer ignorance of mankind by forcefully making us admit our instantaneous vibrations in the vast cosmos are but an illusion. Today I want to inform you about something that is equally as interesting as such edifices. That's something I presume you, I presume, you will have a hard time believing. Ah, he's telling the story. I finally acquired some information regarding the fabled cities of Rub of Kali, which are said to have been built in an undreamt age of certain wonders and rumored to have been intentionally submerged beneath the eternally shifting sands thousands of years ago. There's even more to the story. According to the reliable source, there should be depictions of information about the locations of ancient canariums buried within those halls. So that's where he got his information from, and that's why we're here. Except that it was under the guise of just doing a geological study. Within a few weeks, you'll receive a book containing the locations of those cities and a map predating all maps known today, directly copied from the antediluvian originals. I'm sure you're excited beyond imagination, eager to discuss these findings in detail, but that will have to wait a while since I'll be away for some time visiting the oriental wonders of the old world. I'm sure you know what I mean. Hope to see you soon. Harley Warren. Filling in the details, peeps. I think this is game end. We're going through all the stuff that led us to uh, at Mountains Madness, whatever. I don't know. Woodland Lizard Spirit Mask. A serpentine ritual mask from Achievement India. Achievement completed. Which is said to have hypnotic effects on the one who... One who what? Deeply what? <laughs> All right. Hang on. I'm out. We got an achievement, so I'm thinking... Uh, was it, Is it secrets that we're, we're getting right now? No. Drawings? No. Documents? Journal. Writing down all the masks. Yeah, so four, five... Three, four, five, six, eight, ten, one, two, twelve, eleven. 12, 11, I don't know. 
I don't know how many I was supposed to get. We see that one a lot too, don't we? Some of these paintings are repeated in pretty much every game we play. Okay, there it is. So what is this thing I have on my arm? Mounted on a glove. Secondary component, primary component, interior mounted on a glove. Not sure what it does, but I have it. Some sort of fisting device. <laughs> no. No, it's not. That was PhD. Yes, I know. I only have to look at chat. I know that. <laughs> Okay, um, I think we're done in here. Well, you need a device to get the object in the center rolling. But there's another door over here behind us that we haven't. I need something that can fit. I don't think we missed anything in here. I think we've gone all through here now. All right, peeps. Let's go in this door. Locked. So somewhere in this house is something that can fix this, huh? Looks like something's missing here. see nothing else in here another lever of sorts I agree yeah we missed something somewhere it's <laughs> an ultimate high five giverism <laughs> we've looked at all the stuff and things in here but I'm gonna look again Look on this desk real close. I don't see anything that looks like levers. It's all this is is finding something. Hmm. Looks like a preparation for a long trip. Oh, we haven't been down there, have we? Uh-uh. Oh. Found it. Do we need to go downstairs first? Oh, Jill just said nothing in the grandfather clock, too. I need something that can fit. What? Check the grandfather clock. Okay. We looked at that. I turned my light off to get the time while ago. Okay, so we have a crowbar. I'm afraid that's going to take us away. That's a special door. I bet you that's, that looks like an end game door. I need to figure out what is needed. Lying outside the known space continuum, this is a dimension to which the gate is knowledge and the key is the canarium. Uh, as we start to shed our fleshy bindings, we start to perceive more and more. If we inquire by merely knowing and thinking on any subject matter, windows to that rel relate time and space open up before our non-material selves, our minds. And what's better, we grasp what the experiences in the sessions are shared and even improved by all of the attendings personal knowledge even thinking about the possibilities that may bestow upon us in our quest for transcending the time transcending the limits of our mortal bodies is about to make me crazy 
But sometimes I wonder what has been keeping our sanity intact inside this forbidden place. Behind the thick walls of pitch darkness surrounding us, there's something looming, whispering in my ears in a language familiar. Yet I cannot discern its content. And oh my God, that shook the whole house. <laughs> We're dealing with a real life uh, scenario here too. So there's our final door. I think before we can get this door unlocked. Well, you're still missing things upstairs. Yeah, well, that's what I said. Before we get the door unlocked, I think we're going to have to get that one thing fixed. I have a crowbar. There's going to be some place we can use a crowbar. Well, there's the photograph that we don't have a cylinder for. Look at all these rotten floors. I am going... Is that door locked? The door's locked. Locked. Let's just keep looking at all the floors. I've been through everything. Oh. Okay. That looks like that lock. What else is in here? And a, okay. So there was a phonograph somewhere. Right there. When using Cornarium, we are able to be seen as well as to see. For some time, I was detecting a conscious something previously unseen Dirty by my rudimentary vestiges. Only lately it becomes clear to me. Now it comes into every session and seems to materialize more and more each time. I won't, I won't attempt describing it, but only would say that it's not benevolent. <laughs> from Guilty. what I can get from its glowing semblance, which I believe is used as a way of communication, it can sense you. Only if you spend a considerable time and within I did. the sessions. I spent a lot of time in. I've read about it in the cursed Necronomicon and some elusive records compiled from deep-rooted Bedouin oral literature. Thus learned that it tries reaching the corporeal vessel to dominate and execute the wanderers of the beyond, such as ourselves. But again, against all warnings, I was a fool to believe that I can stop it with just simple signs and incantations. As a resort, we ended up lighting up the place with myriads of candles as well as electrical lamps. But still shiver with fear, with every noise our rundown enclave is causing. Isolated from ancient darkness of the night. Wow. Okay. Looks like something's missing here. Yeah. Does, does it still go in there, huh? Nope. So, I have that. That's the key downstairs. And then we have a flashlight. That's all we got. I did grab a... Wait a minute. I grabbed a crowbar a while ago. You used it. Oh, on the floor. Up the floor, yeah. Some of those items are one use. Okay. Um... But that was pretty cool to find that. What? Now that I've done that, can I do this? Well, we do have the key to the room downstairs. Nothing. Shit. I need something that can fit. A pin? <laughs> There's nothing in that box. Well, let me interact with it. Somebody is sleepy. It doesn't like them. I said, whoa. <laughs> Chilton. I still like that. Yeah, th those things are making a comeback. I was going to comment earlier, but, um, well, that guy was talking. Oh, Truly Bites is sleepy. All right, I tell you what, guys, I'm going to go ahead and go down and use the key. I think this has got to be close to end game. I just didn't want to leave that undone because I wanted to, uh, I want the good ending. And I'm not sure what, I know it has two endings to it, but I'm not sure what it takes to get the good ending versus the bad ending. And the thing that we need might be behind this door for I know.
Oh, we got another puzzle. Oh shit. <laughs> Help. <laughs> Jilted another puzzle, lol. <laughs> got the moon, the sun, just the scales of justice. I don't know what that thing is. HG saying three are highlighted. Oh, these three? Is it lighting or highlighted? Yep, we're still at it. <laughs> and I'm tired. Okay, well, we got that part done. Well, I mean, we found the key. Oh. Wait. What unlocked it? Okay, I ain't gonna argue with it. <laughs> I don't even know what we did to unlock it, to be honest with you. I need a phonograph cylinder. Uh, does that mean we have a tape somewhere? Oh, it's a Cthulhu mask. Sweet. A highly ornamental wooden mask that clearly depicts a cephalopod, cephalopod, cephalopod creature. Just looking as it gives me shivers. Okay, we'll put it. Oh, we took it. Uh, yay, squid face. Okay. I'm still looking for a thing to use upstairs. There you go. Cylinder. Oh, it's a cylinder. Yeah. Okay, where did we... That was somewhere down here. In archaic myths, lurking in shunned and forbidden volumes, I've been able to trace some parts, speaking about a device of non-terrestrial <laughs> origin that is capable of much more than I could ever imagine. Ancient cornariums, I will call them. Machines which are said to have been built long before mankind ever tread on this planet. The very source of the design I've used to make my own version of the machine. Uh, Dr. Faust, you ruined my life, dude. You've ruined my life. Go down in the hole. Huh. I hope the ladder doesn't give out. I yeah, hope so too, man. I just came out of Blight Town in Dark Souls. Know all about these ladders, man. Go, 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 go. I wonder what that one device was, damn it. I don't know. Damn it. Trillaby to the 50 minutes. Thanks again for all the biddies. So awesome. How deep are we go? How deep is this stinking ladder? Uh, <laughs> like the damn alien in HL2 that jump scared the poo out of me. <laughs> hey, future cop. That yeah, was that was a he, that was a heck of a climb. Yeah. Okay. Um, is that the final, or is that the very first machine? Oh. Uh. A headache again, so something's getting ready to happen. Oh, that made me jump. Yeah, it did. Okay, I think something's going on. I don't know. Batman. <laughs> na, 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 na. Well, Batman. Yeah, it does look like Batman, but let's finish looking. Oh, need to oh, a printer. Uh, no. I say nope, nope, nope. This is 1944. There are no printers that look like that. <laughs> Call. 
<laughs> Yay, ASCII art. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Wait. Dot matrix printer. Okay. Maybe that's what goes in that thing upstairs. And where's the phonograph thing? Where I, I saw it in here somewhere. Oh, there it is. It is said that ancient conariums have the ability to transfer one's mind outside through the endless vacuum into other receiving conariums. Just think about the possibility of shedding off the earthbound mortal coil to reach to the stars and yonder as a free agent to see the grand scheme above and beyond the third dimension. Being able to contemplate vistas and sense things you could never ever dream of Insane. with the help of the bodily sensations. Finally, we shall overleap time, space, go and yonder. dimensions. Yonder, I say, go yonder. Without bodily motion, peer to the bottom That's of where creation. That's got the printer. <laughs> yes, I know That's how this right. sounds to you. This is incomprehensible, even for someone like me who spent almost a lifetime on such arcane topics. It's just sad to see. The knowledge has been out there all the time, forevermore, and we failed to read between With the lines. that, you do that just to annoy me, don't you? Nope. <laughs> you really do. Did you ever close in on that to see what it says? What, that? Yeah. No, I've been avoiding it. We got to be at end game. Not necessarily. I remember this place and what we achieved here. Violating the laws of nature with the help of those dead bodies brought here secretly from only God knows where. Forcing them to cooperate by the means of the cursed necromancy. And I don't think I have that. In those profane sessions started to learn forbidden time. knowledge. Now I can distinctly see how pure five madness hours. once roamed here within our own shoes. Uptime is five hours. And the game takes four to five hours to complete without messing around. And we do mess around. Because I read all the notes. So that... It's stuck. So that probably added a good 30 minutes. So we're at the end of the game. He keeps saying that. Even with all the reading. Locked. What good are you, man? You got him a fancy medallion? All these freaking locked doors around here. It's stuck. Do we got to climb back up that ladder? That was a hell of a climb. We didn't miss anything, right? I don't want to come down here again. I got a feeling that that machine that we're about to activate is going to be the end. Oh, key. a key. Yay. We did miss something. Holy bejesus. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we've been at the end game for at least an hour. <laughs> yeah. Why did I touch that? I don't know, Damn it! <laughs> the original world before the continents separated. All those years of extensive research have not been in vain. Here it is, lying dormant and standing still beneath the eternally shifting sands of Rubal Kali for who knows how many millennia. Under the sands. Oh, this, okay, now we're back over there. This is what started it all. We'll take that, we'll take that. 
And uh, what else can we take? It's shifting sands, all right. Pangea or whatever the hell it was called. All right, so we climbed down in that. We climbed down that rope. Yeah, Jill just said I missed a mechanic. I think you're time traveling between professors. Oh, back and forth between the. So now I'm Doctor Faust. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Wow. So he found these guys in a couple of different areas. The hallway seems like it was intentionally oh, wow. blocked Ancient with symbols. this ornate wall. And there are some primal writings inscribed on it. So as an archaeologist... Hmm. As far as I can tell, the text talks about a guardian. A formless, Pangea. glistening, and reflectively iridescent black Pangea. protoplasm. Able to mock and reflect yeah. all Hi, forms and organs. Nickox, hey buddy. Alright. Yeah, this is a, this is an indie game too. They've done a really awesome job of the graphics. On so this. you know, as an archaeologist, the most responsible thing to do when you find precious <laughs> million-year-old rating is to break it down. Because <clears throat> we all know that that's what a, a doctor would do with million-year-old writing. Of course. All right. Yeah, I think he's right. I think I'm Doctor Faust now. I don't remember what Pangea is. What? I was Pan the one that said it while ago. Oh. I wonder if these mummified bodies were the ones who originally built this place. I said, look, it's before the continent separated. Uh. Right. Wow. It's a great one. Okay. Our final puzzle, maybe? <laughs> Let's put the axe away. I don't know if we say final or another puzzle. Uh, do we have a symbol somewhere that we know we need to light up? Not that I'm aware a of. A path. Hang on. What do we have in the way of notes? Oh, right here. A circular stone table tablet with mostly illegible symbols on it. However, one symbol which appears to be the shape of the Canis Majors against, again, with the star constellations uh, seems to be repeated several times. I've marked it down. You want to pause that right there for me, dear? Yep. All right. So there is what we're matching up. All right. So we need three on the top, I guess. Two down the center. Am I seeing that right? I don't see how that shape is going to tie into that. Well, let me show you. Okay. I can't tell if it should be there or here. The or coin. Never mind. <laughs> it looks like an out-of-order onion. <laughs> okay, so that's there. Um, yeah, I'm thinking red means wrong, too. That one looks like it's going to... Oh, it should be down here, maybe. Damn it. I didn't think I clicked on that one. And now we're on this one. Nope, that's going to be on top. That's going to be up there eventually. This one here, because it's going to skip. Maybe here? This one's in the wrong place, though, I think. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, there's not enough rings. 
Yes, yeah, start from the outside and work inward, perhaps. PhD recommended. Okay, I'm gonna leave that one there. Um, yeah, please. Might probably gonna be the smart thing to do. Okay, so let's start on the out. I do believe that that's going to be the outside ring. Something like right there. And then spin this one around until it lights up. These don't line up like the picture that I'm looking at. Oh, I see. I do see it. Okay, right here. This has got to be at the bottom, just like that. That is the correct way. This one... It's only got one on it, though. That doesn't look right to me. There should be three across the top. Right? I don't know. Is the red one even in the right place, dear? Or should it be one should it be over here? I think, think you had it, but the red. Sheldo says he thought I had it, but except for the red. You think the what? Yeah, I think the red one needs to be at the point top. Up like here? Right there, yeah. So this is going to be down? No, that one's going to be on the top too, I think. You think it's gonna be at the top? I think so. And then if we yeah. work our way out here, these are right. Okay. Yeah, one more on the down. See, I'm seeing three across the top. I'm not. I'm seeing the the red and the blue down here. Looking at that picture. No. I'm watching chat. Okay, I'm pretty sure that these are right. Pretty sure that these two are right. From inner to out. That's what I started doing. Then uh, up, down, up, down, down, down. <laughs> okay, these are your three toppers, right? Across the top. Good night, she. All right, Thank she. Have a good out. night. Yeah, I need sleep too. Triangle, circle, circle, square. <laughs> I don't. Oh, there's loud thunder again. I don't get. I think it. Circle two down. Circle two down. Circle four five down. Circle two down. Yeah, there we go, straight. Oh, is that it? That's it. Did you get it? I guess so. We got a beam out of it. What? I know. Wee! Good job, Jilted.
You got the final piece of the puzzle. Call. Oh, saw a hand. Oh, I see something. That's the piece that goes to that thing. Yeah, that watch my calling. But the problem with Thing that is we're no longer at the house. So do I, as a time traveler, do I gotta go put that back? What do you do? Okay. I don't know. I'm not gonna look, lick a gift horse in the mouth, whatever it was. <laughs> Six hours left to go. <laughs> Is that what that... Yep, that's what we, st we stuck that thing in. Longest endgame in the history of endgames. No kidding. Well, when you do a blind playthrough, you really don't know what to expect. <laughs> and this... Oh. Okay, so this is where he got his map from. Remember the map in the uh, office? Uh-huh. And we were trying to figure out... Yeah, this is how he found out about the locations. I finally found it. This mural is depicting the continents in the middle... Hmm. Jurassic era, I believe.